I was trying to show Juan my boobs last night. Oh, yeah. I wasn't wearing a bra. She wasn't wearing a bra, and she was uh, stirring, stirring the food. Stirring the formula. <laughs> she was like... Uh-huh. <laughs> and then I leaned forward. Towards the I, felt, I, I just felt mine do it. You ain't special. I got him, too. <laughs> yeah. I wish my nipples weren't so freaking hard all the time. Like, they're super... <laughs> They're just super noticeable. Just go like this. Welcome to another <laughs> yes. grooming podcast. Should wear pasties. Yeah. Welcome to another grooming podcast. Um, Let's just say the words. Just like... <laughs> Hello and welcome to another grooming podcast. I'm Kat Graney. I'm Nathan Austin. I'm Juan Rivera. I'm Kathleen Austin. And today we are going to talk about Pasadena. Pasadena. Woo-hoo. And what a success it was. That's, yeah, so that's Groom Expo West. Yes, Groom Expo West. We call it Pasadena. Yeah. That's the city it's held in. But first, do we want to do some Would You Rathers? Yeah, yes. let's do it. Okay, I pulled one because I like the question. Would you rather groom a dog that won't stop moving or a dog that won't stop barking? Moving. Oh, it, I would rather... <laughs> <laughs> I gotta think Jeez, about it. That's diff- that's a hard one. <laughs> I'd rather groom a dog not moving because I feel like they all move at some degree, but how moving? Yeah, and I c- how barking? No, I couldn't do the barking. I yeah. If I, I could like wear, him. can I wear earplugs or like headphones? Because if that's the case, then barking, yeah. no problem. Well, that's that's true. If I could wear noise canceling headphones, I would. But they don't totally. And then the, the, the their body does that. Like, yeah, they're ooh, moving. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, and they're so they're moving goes. anyway. Yeah, yeah. yeah. their butthole you're does the to, trumpet thing. So yeah. like, and you're trying to do their underline, and they're like. <laughs> so at least if they're like tap dancing, there's like things you can do, right? You can like grab yeah. a leg and like they hold one leg hold up. one leg up so they like stop for a little bit, and you can like quickly like ah scissor. But I feel like when they're barking just nonstop, it's just it's because there's nothing you can do to stop them. You like hold their mouth and they're still like barking. Or when they fucking pant and you're like like along every fucking rib. Oh yeah, along their ribs and they're just yeah. Okay, so is that moving or is that barking though? Well, that's barking. Oh, panting. The panting, I think, is moving. Mm. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I I would rather do a barking dog that stays still. <sighs> that stays still. I don't know. That's too difficult. We, so we get a fair amount of barkers in here, and I just can't stand it. I like. I think just we have bark. all Some the barking bark. ones. They and just like just bark their headphones through on. the whole. Yeah, they bark through the whole thing, and we just like put our headphones on, but it's still like. Annoying. But as and shit. some dogs just bark, and other dogs like really bark, yeah. and they're just like ear piercing. Yeah. It makes your ears like. Thub. Well, like I don't thub. mind Whatever if you. I don't, I don't mind if you. <laughs> yeah, they make them like dog. vibrate. You know, you can feel it in your ears, <laughs> like it's like the sound so of flipping those things. I guess. Nice. Yeah. I I don't mind if like you know maybe like a dog walks by and they bark and then they stop or like that is totally fine but we just have like a handful that just literally bark the entire time they're being groomed okay i would rather have a moving dog because <sighs> also barkers affect everyone else in the salon too that's, yeah, that's true. true yeah so but to me mover well i feel like every dog mover. moves to some degree practically you know what is one of my favorites when i'm teaching somebody and they don't know like you know how you, you you're scissoring a foot right and every time no. you scissor the foot, the dog like lifts it up. Ugh. But then you just hold up their opposite foot. So a lot of people don't know that, right? And I'm like, watch this. And hold up the opposite They're foot. Like, and the dog, like, it can't move, obviously, right? Or it can't lift up its other foot. Like, Sometimes that doesn't work. And I have to lift up the whole backside. Yeah. So then yeah, they stand on both fronts. That's, oh, that's true, too. Oh, I didn't know that. that. Yeah. Now oh, I'm going to do did. that. Yeah. Pro tip. Yeah, because sometimes they still... They, they still, still will, like, like, try and face yeah, plant. Like, <laughs> yeah, but if you lift both back legs, they're like... Yeah. <laughs> Do you remember that dog? I don't know if you were there when she was there, at, but when we were at PetSmart, there was this miniature poodle, and she always got like fun cuts. That's how I remember. But she used to spin obsessively. Yeah, you didn't touch her; she was spinning. You would literally have to hold like her thigh <laughs> while you did the rest of it because she would just spin violently, Whirly. like, and she did it all the time. You put her on the ground, she spun. She just spun everything. Is it a, like a happy thing or like a nervous No, I think thing. it's a neurotic thing. Oh, neurotic. <laughs> Not nervous. Neurotic. <laughs> Not nervous. <laughs> I think she did it all the time. Because even when her owner picked her up, she was still spinning. Well, and she would spin in the kennel. She, she would sp- just... She just spun. Mm. What was her time. name? I can't remember. It's been so long. But I do remember It was like Fifi or... F- it was some... Fifi? Fi- that no, it would no. It was some like that name checks out for sure, right? Like <laughs> some little cutesy, like you would know, like a poodle, like a poodle on a thing, Fifi or Fufu or makes sense, something like that. Like Phoebe? This little old man, like Phoebe. No, she's Phoebe. <laughs> He's being a douche. <laughs> Nathan being a douche. No, <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> okay, one more. Uh, would you rather spend an entire day grooming puppies for the first time, 
or senior dogs with lots of special needs? Puppies. Puppies. They're less likely to die on you. There's yeah, that. Puppies. Um, well, and I just, I Wait, do. Wait, so dogs with special needs? No, old, senior, senior dogs. dogs. With lots of special needs. Yeah. It's, it's tough because they do, I do think like senior dogs hold somewhat of a special place in our hearts, right? Oh, yeah. But I will agree with Kat that um, I'm always, even though I love the dogs a lot, and I, a lot of them I've been grooming for a really long time, and so I feel really like attached to them, and yeah. I want to do right by them because I know so many places don't. Um, they still just make me so nervous that something's going to happen to them. So I, and I love puppies. I love setting up puppies for a good, like grooming career, right? Yeah. Like where I'm like, okay, we're going to have a great session. Not only that, I feel like a lot of the puppies we get nowadays aren't that bad. Well, I feel like when we first started, right. Or are we like, better? Yeah. That's well, what I think it is. I, I think is we know how to handle puppies better. Now pup, I get a puppy in and there's, I've never had a puppy to where I couldn't do the whole trim. Right. Well, because yeah. that's what I was going to say. I Not feel in like years. When we were at PetSmart, we were always like, oh, no, only feet and faces on puppies. You can't do all over. And we pets. were only charging fourteen ninety nine. So, uh-uh. Uh-uh. What the fuck? Uh-uh. Yeah, ain't going to get well, much. <laughs> but, you know, like, and then I remember, like, the more I started to, like, you know, get into grooming, and then I was like, why can't I do an all over haircut on a puppy? You mm-hmm. know, because, like, I was tired of, like, convincing owners, like, I can't. And then I was like, why can't I? And then I was like, this is it so easy their hair is so forgiving it's like the mm-hmm. you know what i mean like and they're just so freaking cute yeah I'm, i love puppies i love doing all over puppy cuts like, yeah because when you get the puppies that pet smart you only do feet and face and then their heads are all <laughs> like tiny because the owner wants their beard <laughs> short and their bodies all poof. yeah I would only make sure it's, it's just a bang trim because yeah. people would come in for the face and then do the whole thing. It's like, I'm reshaping the entire thing. That's a full haircut. Sorry. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah and for 15 bucks. Yeah. You know, <laughs> get over it. So what was our commission off that? We got what? 750. Yeah. Well, and then you get the person because wasn't it only up to a certain age, the puppy package? And then you get somebody that Four would like months, try yeah. to, uh, you know, like, no, my puppy is young. Like, they bring in like a 30 pound doodle. You're like, <laughs> get out of here. Well, people would do that. They would come in for the standard poodle five months for clean face and clean feet. Mm-mm. And it was fourteen ninety nine. And I, like we I used to do it. Well, yeah, and then after a while, to, I was right? like, no, fuck this. Uh-uh. Yeah. No, no. I'm gonna trim yeah. but technically it is a face and feet, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's that's so wild. tedious. We had a couple and dogs. And on a puppy. Mm-hmm. At, pet, at our pet smart, we had a couple dogs that we actually charged extra for poodle feet because they were so Bad. difficult. Do you guys charge extra for clean feet? No. no. Well, not now. I mean, we charge based off of time. So right. I do yeah. think poodle face, poodle feet is more tedious. So it does like make the groom take longer. Although some, um, some dogs I find it easier almost, like especially yeah. the poodle face. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Instead of doing a teddy bear head and making sure it's all combed out, yeah, rounding off the muzzle, it. and some jump, <laughs> shave it right off. Of it. <laughs> I was true. Someone just asked me for a top knot video, and like I still don't have though, like a way I do it. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? Mm-hmm. Like a set, like do like this and this. I'm still like, I just do it and then it comes out, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Do it. Well, he was, yeah, he was supposed, he says that because he was supposed to take a video of. Coco, the um, the white standard. The white standard. Mm, mm-hmm. She was the one that came to the class last year, or the year oh, before, oh, or two years Schmidt. ago, yeah, whatever. Her mom's yeah. awesome, yeah. Stephanie and uh, yes. that's because he uses her for all of his videos because she's so pretty. And um, of course, he forgot and started trimming it. And then he was like, "Oh well, whatever." I mean, I He'll do it weird anyways. Do you want to use Francine for a video? You can. Yeah. We could figure out some stuff. Educational videos are the ones people like. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I have two. Oh, because one's mine. Well, I'm over here like this. <laughs> yeah, I would love to use Francine. <laughs> Who said something? Up? Maybe I could do, we could film some stuff at your place. Oh, yeah. That's true, yeah. too. Yeah. Nice well, and then we have somebody who, we have a couple people who want to learn, like, poodle stuff. And that's the hard part is uh, our dogs are in rotation for competition because they want to come here and do, like, one-on-ones. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I was like, well, then we have to, like, figure out what good salon dogs. And then, you know what I mean? Like, it makes it more complicated. Yeah, Francine's yeah. growing out from a one all over. So she's, nice. like, nice. nothing on her. Nice. A one all over? Nice. Why did you do that? To stop myself from competing. To, like, to stop myself <laughs> from signing up. It, it was, like, right before Pasadena. Well, December. Right before Pasadena opened. And I was like, am I going to do it? Should I do it? Everyone else is doing it. I'll do it. I'll do it. 
And then I was in a really bad mood one day and I was like, no, I'm not going to do it. And then I, <laughs> and then I regretted it as soon uh, as I went down her like leg and got, you know, got rid of her stifle and everything. I was like, but you guys had Tacoma. fun still, right? Hmm? You guys had fun. Though. Oh, I had so much fun. Yeah. So let's talk about Pasadena. Now, yeah. Oh yeah. That's what yeah, we're so doing. So that's our episode. <laughs> our episode today that's is about. That's our episode. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <I'm just> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is about Pasadena and everything we did there, right? It was so much fun. Yeah. yeah. I loved it. I, it, so. Winning. Probably one of the funnest <laughs> trips so far, they, like these trips just keep getting funner. What was so awesome about Pasadena, like as soon as we got there, we ran straight to the check-in booth because me and Katie were speakers. And I wanted that speaker badge. Mm -hmm. So I just knew it was going to be a little different, you know? First time, yeah. Yeah, and it just it just felt like so good and everyone was so nice. And I feel like more and more people know us. And mm -hmm. it just feels, you kind of feel a little bit like a celebrity and it just it just feels cool, you know. I just it makes me happy, and I don't want to sound like a douche, but it just makes me happy. You did have a really uh, like a like a green lanyard. We have like the little plastic beads, <laughs> yeah. And you guys had like a and it cloth. matched my shoes yeah. unintentionally. Yeah, I'm gonna wear that one to all the Barkley shows now. Just bring it along, just the, for fun. The green thing or yeah. the speaker one? Maybe both. <laughs> Nathan, do you know where Nathan it is? Nathan, we speak at every. We're yeah. speaking at Tacoma too. Oh yeah, oh, that's that is the next Barkley show. Huh? Nathan, I was like, I don't know. We're gonna get. <laughs> it was just fun. Well, what about you guys? Like, and then we did the interviews. We got okay. the interview. So you're, we're gonna go you're day like by day. Jumping, yeah. you're, okay, you're jumping deep. Nobody else even got Nathan. to say anything. Okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> well, that was me, right? I had a great time. <laughs> Pasadena is a show that uh, I think holds a really special place in my heart because that was like, I mean, Super Zoo and Pasadena are our more local shows. Mm -hmm. Those are the two that we like all started at. And that was like Nathan's first big like win win win, mm -hmm. and so I mean it's just a special show. I think it's, you know, it's our home show too. It's well, that's what I said. She just said that. <laughs> Did you also know that it's our home show? <laughs> <laughs> Along with, <laughs> just so everybody knows, Nathan's headphones have a special song that plays in them, so he doesn't hear when everybody else talking when everybody else is talking. <laughs> it's just birds chirping in here. <laughs> <laughs> crickets. Yeah, crickets. <laughs> Hold on, guys. <laughs> oh, you did a good job. See, I know things. <laughs> I know how to read cricket. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I Anyways. also really enjoy Pasadena because <laughs> it's one of our local shows. We get to bring our own dogs. She said that already. I know. I'm just kidding. I'm just Crickets kidding. are in hers, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. We're, we're the, the, the slow pickup <laughs> side. <laughs> um, but because we get to bring our own dogs mm -hmm. and we drive into that road trip. I, I don't know. I like road tripping. So. Yeah, it's fun. No. I hate road tripping. I yeah, that's why driving. you're flying to, that's Tacoma. Why I'm flying to Tacoma. I know. You'll Are miss you there, I guess. I guess First class? <laughs> no. No, it's Dang. only like an hour and a half flight. I'm you not going to spend business, that money for... Business class? No, Southwest. Just, just going. I got the flights for like 70 bucks. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. yeah. It's worth it when it's that cheap. It's mm -hmm. worth it. How many can I'll we? send my yeah. dogs with them. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about I was tempted. I was like, hmm, because my hips hurt. It is, though, a really beautiful drive. It is. Actually, it's like yeah. really beautiful. Driving to Vegas sucks. Yeah. But yeah. driving desert, to Tacoma desert. is so beautiful. You're like driving oh, to Tacoma. Oh, to Tacoma. To, yeah, Tacoma oh, okay. is gorgeous. Okay. Yeah, Tacoma is super kind of beautiful. blah, too, because it's pretty much the same I was as like, Vegas. yeah, some parts are pretty. Yeah, it just <laughs> smells like shit. Yeah, it just smells like cow. Well, I've been making that drive a lot. Because I drove to a show right after Pasadena, and the like before that, I yeah, I'd been going back and forth a couple of times, to Palm Springs, oh, it's and then yeah, so. it's a tough drive. I will say the more often that I drive to it, the it feels shorter. Yeah, I don't know if it's just because I'm used to it now. I oh, see. I feel like it feels longer. Mm. Yeah, it feels shorter. I do to think me. you kind of zone out. And you just kind of, well, especially now, or we have the Tesla, so it's just kind of like drives. Yeah, but we don't get to drive the Tesla to any of these things. Because we you can't uh -huh. fit all the crap. <laughs> and the dogs in it. <laughs> it's so sad. They need to make a cyber van. That would be rad. I really, I would for sure buy that. The truck is not enough for me. I need a van. Or like SUV. Like something big. They have the R Rivian R1, but it's like $100,000. Yeah, I yeah, I'm not paying that. Who makes that? Rivian. Rib oh, I've never even heard of that brand. <gasps> I think, uh, so you were They're interested really in an nice. electric car, right? Like yeah. the Rivian is super nice. I think you'd really like it. I think it. you'd it's super a, like it. And it's a van? It's a SUV. SUV. Oh. SUV. It it's has 400 it mile range. It looks nice. Hmm. Okay. It's super nice. And you get a and you get a tax break because you live in California. So mm -hmm. you get like, I think it's like $8,000 or something oh, like nice. that. Because over the weight or whatever? Yeah. At the commercial? And like so much of it is made in 
Are you going to show them a picture it of it? It's pretty. It kind of looks like a... Kind of looks like a Range Rover, kind of. Yeah, it's fancy as fuck. Oh. Super premium sound it's system. Nice, right? Super, like... Oh, that's nice. It's vegan nice. leather and all the whole thing, yeah. Vegan leather. Yeah. It's nice. Is it pleather? Yes, it is. Yeah. That's, <laughs> a, that's, that's just a, a fancy... Yeah, it's a fancy... Vegan leather. You mean pleather? Yeah, that's the... <laughs> you mean plastic? You mean plastic? Yeah. Processed plastic? It's exactly yeah, I'm not sure is. if that's much better, though, right? It sounds nice, though, right? No, no, no. I know, but I'm saying, like, if you're thinking about, like, saving the earth, being environmentally friendly, leather versus, like, plastic that looks like leather. Yeah, I'd rather have a dead cow. I mean, that cow's getting eaten anyway, well, that, so why not? That's the thing I think of, right, is, like, how many cows get butchered a year if we're using their skin? Okay, so like, nothing... Yeah feels better on your skin than, than skin, skin. <laughs> it's true yeah leather just feels awesome on you <sighs> yeah it, it is weird that you're just wearing another animal's flesh <laughs> well i have this leather like jacket and I, every time i put it on i'm like oh here's my hey. cow armor but mostly like, i mean we're wearing armor. like oh, so animals, you put on, we're like, pretty much wearing shirtless animals. and then put on the leather Animals clothes though. I will right? now. Like, <laughs> I mean, because like sheep's right. We share sheep's to make clothes. So then you're mm -hmm. just like wearing their. You're like, give me your jacket. Well, that's where clothes originally. Deer hides and yeah. buffalo hide. Yeah, it's all. Yeah. Sometimes when Ronnie and I are cuddling, I'm like, can we take off our shirts so I can feel your skin? <laughs> <laughs> oh, skin yeah. to skin. Yeah. yeah, nice. I like that too. Yeah. Put the lotion on the skin. Now else you'll get the hose. <laughs> <laughs> Silence of the Lambs. Oh my god. Oh, Silence <laughs> of the Lambs. Remember that oh, song? Oh, you don't really like uh, scary, though. No, I like scary. It's just old. Who doesn't like scary? Ronnie. You know, and oh, he's that's like, Ronnie. Ronnie doesn't like scary. You gotta know the scene. And he's like, he's dressed up in some in woman's clothes. Is the, This is the murderer. And he's like, <laughs> Clearly. He's like putting on lipstick and he's like, Would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. And he, it's like, you have, to, you have to watch it. It's super good. And there was a girl in the hole and there's little Fifi at the top. It's a, from the 90s. Fufudog. You gotta watch no, it now. Yeah. You gotta watch it. Is that the it. one where he eats people? He yeah. like wears them. He yeah. like kills them and then like wears That's them. That's different than Hannibal. So well, Hannibal they, they is they in like the start, movie, yeah. but, but the girl that are like, he's like, they're consulting Hannibal to catch him. But it's yeah. been so long since I've seen that movie. Oh, they're they're, they're tied Some, in Somebody out the there Hannibal is movie. fucking pissed right now that, <laughs> I didn't, that, that we don't know. So it's been a long time. Message us the real plot and we'll get to it. I'm just gonna rewatch it. Yeah, we can just rewatch it. Not waiting for them. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. it. We're anyway, take let's get home. back to Pasadena. Okay. <laughs> I so guess. Thursday we we all drove, right? We mm -hmm. Katie, Nathan, and I and our coworker Jeanette all drove together with how many dogs do we have? Six? Six. Yeah. Originally we had more because we were gonna loan a dog to Jacob. Originally we had eight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but then he didn't end up needing it. And then you were gonna use Ronan, but then we needed him for Atlanta. So that cut us down. And yeah. then you and Ronnie drove alone. Yeah. With, yeah. with no dogs. No dogs. So no hot breath on the drive home. Mm. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah, we had a lot of hot breath in our car. <laughs> Probably smelled like shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, after like three hours, you don't smell it no more. Yeah. <laughs> and then well, you get to the cows. It gets overwhelmed with cow shit. <laughs> yeah. but, uh, the, was one of the Scotties in heat too? Mm -mm. No. Oh, okay. No, no. That's so what I, we left I home was going to. You didn't have a little bit of funk on her though. Mm. I was going to loan my Scotty out because somebody had asked about a wire dog for entry or intermediate. I can't remember. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll loan my bitch out. But then she was in heat and I was like, mm mm. And she, she was right in full standing heat, right? Yeah. Then. She was like right at ovulation. And the boys were so stupid and smooth brained. I was like, no way am I putting this bitch in the car. No. There's no way they'll stand for grooming when we get. When we get yeah. there, like they need like at least that one day, that Thursday separation to like clear their brains before competition on Friday. I need a bone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it really just just makes them my dog Nathan on the daily, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. My dog is yeah. the worst when it comes oh to bitches God, in yeah. season. He he just totally blew this last show we were at because there were three bitches in season in the ring and he literally couldn't control himself. He like he can't walk. He pants. It's to the. He drools. I think you're. I think you're gonna end up having to 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 express him right before every show now. <laughs> they have places on site to do that. Like, I'd rather yeah. pay someone. Can I just give him a little handy real quick? <laughs> well, How he's much gonna, does it cost? We're not his, ready yet. He's gonna have his first breeding, but it's being done um, artificial. So he's being collected and it's being shipped to the dog because she's not around here. And uh, so I went to, took him to the vet to have him collected to, to see if he can perform without a girl in the room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he did fine. <laughs> so is it like, 
<laughs> what is it? Like, you don't jack him off, right? Like, he does all the work. No, I mean. Or not you, but the doctor. The vet, right, walk yeah. us through it. Yeah, walk what us happened? through the So, first of all, she's like, oh, you know, I don't have anything. I don't have a rag or anything. And then she took a, a pipette that they used on a breeding. So, they that's what they put in the female to do mm. when they inseminate her. Mm-hmm. And she took it out of the garbage and just wiped a piece of gauze on it. <laughs> so, it smelled good. <laughs> and then he, she handed it to him. He sniffed it. And then, yeah, she just put her hand under there and. But they, they use like, like a, a bag, bag and a lube. Yeah, it's like a bag with a tube at the end. Okay. And then like some lube and yeah. They do the rest. But so it's not the same though, right? Like. But then they take their penis and they pull it back behind their legs yeah. once it's out. Mm-hmm. Because. Does that make it ex- more of it come out? I don't know because when it's supposed they, to when do they're that, breeding, right? yeah, they're supposed, supposed to stand to back to back once they get tied. Because yeah. they, you know, people who don't know. The male's penis will swell in the female, and they will be locked together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. They, I think they pull it to be more nat, you know, natural. Pull the back behind their legs because they should stand rear to rear once. Well, and so I believe from like the research or what I've been told, they like their like pre-seminal fluid that they're like has semen in it, and like the they're not the same as like dudes where it's just like go 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 until you have that one load. Mm-hmm. I believe that they're like releasing stuff the the, the whole, whole time essentially. But yeah. I mean, we pre come. So it's yeah. like Same. it's like a couple of minutes though, and I mean, but they're just like pretty much from the start leaking. Yeah. So she did it into a bag, <laughs> and then um, I think somebody corrected us. Make, I didn't even look. I just kind of like got his head like, yeah, good boy. We just pretend like it's not <laughs> happening. I'm like, good boy, and uh, then she's like, okay, she finishes, and then she's like, take him on a walk to. She put some lube on light it up a cigarette and then take him on a walk. Yeah. <laughs> so I took him on a walk and put himself back together and put his done. kickstand away. And yeah, oh, it, take a pee. It's, it's Did he seem different afterwards? It's, no. Did he go to sleep like or was he still? His... Yeah, when he came back to the salon, he he took a nap. Yeah, yeah. right on, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm going to start talking about this again. We're talking about the dogs in the car oh, and, and, heat, and heat. having yeah. a bitch in heat. Okay. But, so and that, how my boy's crazy. That is exactly why I did not want a bitch in heat in my car because all the dogs but cat's dog is particularly bad because even if i don't bring like if i have a bitch in heat and i leave her at home he is all over me even if i don't even touch her i'm like these are new clothes i didn't even touch her i think it's your shoes and he yeah Mm. he's like all over me and i'd be like kicking him throughout the day get the fuck away from me because he's he's gross he's a total he's he's just like yeah he's a total (laughs) perv he'll like come over and start like licking my legs sensually and i'm like Get the hell out of here. I'm not in heat. God damn it. He's in love with Katie. I don't know why. <laughs> Cats Same and animals cat. just have a thing for Katie, Katie. for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I used to have a bird that would hump her <laughs> and regurgitate for her. Yeah, which he is would a sign throw of love. up for me. Yeah. And his eyes would like go mm. crazy when I would walk in the room. Yeah, just her. So that was Thursday. Good pickings. Good pickings. <laughs> That wasn't all on Thursday. That wasn't all on Thursday. We no. only just started travel. <laughs> yeah. So oh, we God. so we, we got to, we got to the hotel a few hours early, then like two hours early, right? Yeah. So yeah. we were like finding things to do and like and, hanging out. Uh, well, but you so, get there well, and you see all your friends right away, and yeah. it's like hey, it's like in a the lobby waiting party, to check in. Um, yeah. atmosphere, right? Mm-hmm. Except for they closed the bar at ten. What the hell was up with that? Who knows? That we didn't weird. even spend that much time. Yeah. Nathan. Nathan, the bar. It's unacceptable. <laughs> well, the first thing I did was I had to take a poo poo. <laughs> what oh, do you guys yeah. call it? Uh, a boop it a beppy. A boop it a beppy. Get to go make. A boop it a beppy. But the funny thing is, I went into the bathroom, right? <laughs> and, you know, I sit down. <laughs> and there's this like fancy lady in there. And she comes into the bathroom, and then I'm like, oh, you know, we kind of like ho- try to hold it in. And, <laughs> Like, <laughs> I couldn't. <laughs> it's been a six-hour drive. Yeah. And uh, she's like, oh, my God. And <laughs> left the room. I was like, I... Well, yeah. There was a bunch of British ladies from, yeah. um, from yeah, Virgin Airlines. Yeah, Virgin Airlines. Yeah. So they were all no, dressed up. And... The, that was like the second day. There was also another company there. Yeah, same company. No, it was same, the same company. Yeah. Okay, yeah, they were must the have been stuff. the fancy... fancy the, the British but women aren't I down decided, with the farts. I was like, do you not poop? Fancy people. I was like, <laughs> I would have done it in the room if we had a room. Right. Yeah. But she's probably mastered the technique of silent. Oh well, we heard we for... heard about a technique oh, about yeah. silent farting. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. what's the technique? I need so to know. So our friend you Leah. Were there. Yeah, you were there. She oh, was explaining yes, right. the to muffle your farts. <laughs> you wrap some paper towel or na- toilet yeah, paper toilet on paper. your hand, and then you spread your butt cheeks a little bit. This is while you're in the public restroom, 
and you like muffle your, your you open your <laughs> butthole and you like hold the pa- the, na- the toilet paper there. <laughs> 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 that way you don't. Yeah. Extreme the British visual. people would have loved that one. Extreme yeah. visual. Mm. Uh, pa- you Thanks, painted Leah. quite the picture. <laughs> I'm just trying to like I've met ne- like I'm just trying to imagine it at this point like me actually doing that and it's so funny. No, I just find it hilarious. I'll never see that woman again. So <laughs> she also didn't see me. She she came in after me and left and before. then left before me. So that's what I do. I sometimes I just sit in there and wait till the, okay, there till was, the room clears. There was someone, I'm a waiter. Yeah, I wait. There was someone on the second day that was completely destroying the bathroom when I went in there. As I was walking in, I heard him. He was just machine gunning. And I peed, and I could tell he was like holding it back. So like as I'm walking out, I go, I just start like <laughs> making the freaking footstep noises. And as, as soon as like it sounded like I left, he was machine gunning again. <laughs> and then I coughed, you know, like <coughs> like <laughs> just right there, just to freak him out, you know. Nathan's just in there trolling people. <laughs> yeah, absorbing your smells. I think it's Gross. so fu- it's so funny how like when you're the one pooping, you're like, oh my god, people <laughs> can hear me. But then you hear other people, you're like, wow. Well, like yeah, it, it is the bathroom. It is what it is. So the thing about competitions Everyone too should. is we get up early. We are moving fast. We a bunch of caffeine, a bunch of oh, caffeine, yeah. and a bunch of stress. We have to go. You know, those bathrooms are full yeah, of competitive we, groomers we, <laughs> taking dumps. <laughs> and we got that. We had that new Starbucks drink that uh, that has olive oil in it. So that you know. made it slick. Yeah, helped it lubricate it on the way if out. If coffee didn't do it already, they're like, let's add oil to it. <laughs> Okay. So after uh, the pooping, we get our rooms and stuff, right? And oh, get well, all their crap in it. Speaking of the, the rooms, I thought oh. I booked both <laughs> the rooms, and I thought that they were going to put us together because we got a double queen. So me and Nathan and Jeanette and Kat, and then I got a king for Juan and Ronnie. And I thought they'd put us together, but no, they gave these. Guys, I was like, oh, can we get something on the ground floor? Because we have you know dogs with us. And, um, of course, they put us on the fourth floor, <laughs> them on the first floor, and gave them a backyard. They didn't even have any dogs. And yeah, they got a they freaking a backyard. Patio. Mm-hmm. It was gorgeous. It was I was nice. like, this Fuckers. is fucking bullshit. Yeah, but you know what? The no patio set. Yeah. It was the empty <laughs> patio. Yeah, we had to bring the furniture out. That's yeah. right. But next year, I'm just going to get two of those rooms, and we're just going to have to bring a blow-up mattress or something because the yard was worth it. Well, I called the front desk to ask for, like, a cot. Yeah. For because Leah spent the night on Friday. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I remember. And they said they couldn't because uh, the stairs. The, I think it was the stairs, and it was a fire hazard. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And I was like, they were like, we can't bring you one fire hazard. I was like, well, what if I go get it? Mm-hmm. They're like, no. Stupid. So just don't tell them about your air mattress. Yeah. Just two people. It's big enough. You can fit like two air mattresses. Oh, for sure. Well, remember the little side. T- the little side. They had that. Um, the lounge thing. The little like lounger. Mm. That's mm-hmm. definitely Jeanette size. Yeah. <laughs> She's, She's so short. little. Leah slept on that. Yeah. yeah. She, did she sleep do all right? No. <laughs> She's tall though. She's tall. So we had to like roll the t- the chair to the end of it to like finish her feet. And then she it was really cold because we Ronnie and I like to sleep cold. Mm. So it was just too cold for her. I don't know if the uh, bed was uncomfortable as well, but it was freezing. Well, you guys got each other to like kind of mm-hmm. warm each other. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She's just over there freezing <laughs> on this piece of leather. And I woke up sweating because I had to sleep with the shirt on because she was there. Uh, Normally we sleep in just our oh underwear. My God. And it was like, I was like, she's like, I was so cold. I was like, I'm fucking, I woke up like in a pool of sweat. Okay. So when we went to the Bashan <laughs> Nationals. I slept with a tank top. Yeah. But uh, were you hot or cold? I mean. Uh, how do, how no, I don't remember. I don't think so. I think because when I know I'm sleeping with in a room with somebody else, I'll wear a, a tank top. Mm. And I think that's enough like freedom mm. where I don't feel. But I wasn't planning on anyone sleeping in our room, so I didn't bring any. Yeah. Mm. Just you can feel free to sleep shirtless. I don't yeah. care. I know. Skin Maybe. to skin. Skin to skin. <laughs> Cat or spoon. Where did this say bed? Uh, although I wouldn't care about that either. Anyway. <laughs> to We're taking a lot of side quests today. You're welcome, Jovi. Yeah. Um, <laughs> speaking anyway. of poor Jovi, they forgot, oh, yeah. or they like her bag got left in Canada. So then she had to compete with like not her own equipment on the first day. Yeah. But yeah. she did good. She yeah. placed anyways. Yeah. Well, when you're good, you're good. I know. Yep. The Canadians no, was, know how to make good. Gr- they're good groomers up there. I know. I was. I was glad that she was able to figure it out. And then she did get her stuff. So, and didn't have to borrow any underwear. And didn't have to borrow any underwear. <laughs> I told her I was like, you just turn it inside out and then move it. You have like three, four days from one pair. Yeah. You know, you're fine. That's the whole weekend. Yeah. 
Anyway, so <laughs> if we, then we were looking for a place to record because we had mm-hmm. our first interview coming Which up. Which hopefully you guys have already watched. Yeah, you better have watched it. It was just Rona. Yeah. That was so, really exciting. So we had to look for a place, and you guys were scouting out places and mm-hmm. asking people where we can record. Where did, oh, we did in the restaurant, right? Oh no, my God. No, no, that was we Gabriel. Didn't, oh, okay. No, we no, did in her Jess classroom. Jess was in her classroom oh, yeah. right before our class. Everyone was really, um, they're Welcoming. really helpful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There wasn't anybody, I was worried that people, we were going to get that like vibe of like, oh, we don't want you doing that stuff. But everyone. Pushback, yeah. Yeah, everyone was really nice and mm-hmm. accommodating. Yeah, and we did it right in her classroom right before she did it, and it yeah. was awesome. Yeah. A little no, dark. It was, yeah. <laughs> well, it was definitely a learning experience, right? Because this was the first time that we did our show outside of the salon. So, like, g- getting all of this stuff, like, you, I mean, you guys were real troopers for that because you guys packed it up into your mm-hmm. car mm-hmm. and drove it for us. And um, But then getting all of this set up and, like, plugging things in and getting the lighting right. And so it was definitely a lot of work. So. Oh, yeah. Well, I think about what we're going to do for, like, Hershey and stuff. We gotta plan that all out. I'm thinking we're gonna buy new lights. I get to spend more money, baby. Nathan yes. likes to spend new money. lights. What's yeah, I don't think these lights? ones travel that well, so I think we're oh, gonna. Oh, you're get gonna get just like travel ones. Yeah, uh, panels, maybe mm-hmm. 300 watt like Amaran panels. Mm-hmm. Probably just a couple thousand. That's it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nathan <laughs> likes his toys. <laughs> anyway, so then we did the <laughs> interview with Jess Rona. Any hoosers. <laughs> And that was great. And you guys, that's a different episode. You got to go watch it if you haven't. This is, this is after, right? This yes. is after, yeah. yeah okay. After both? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Nice. 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 I think, I think it'd be cool to ask the audience, though, who they would want to that's for true. us to interview. Yeah, right? I because I think that, a lot yeah. of times it's the same, similar people interviewed. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. if somebody has a great idea of interviewing somebody, I want to hear about it. Yeah, yeah, because we're going to Tacoma. Yeah, we're going to Tacoma. We're going to Super Zoo and Hershey. Mm-hmm. So if there's anybody that you guys would really like to hear from, or if you have specific questions, let us know. Um, or questions for people you want us to interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I mean. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant for us. No, for oh, yeah, the like interview. Oh, yeah, you just want to ask somebody too. something? Yeah, like so they're like, I want to hear from this person and ask them this question. Give us the tea, we'll ask. Yeah. Within reason. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe. Within reason. I'm just yeah. kidding. I don't know. I don't think there's anything on here we wouldn't ask anybody. That's true. Especially right? if it's coming from somebody mm-hmm. else. After, yeah. those inter- yeah. after those <laughs> interviews, <laughs> like, I, I, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, well, Gabriel's got a little deep. Yeah, yeah. we got deep with Gabriel. Um. Anyway, so on <laughs> Friday, we actually Ow. started the call. Did you hit your face? <laughs> yeah, I hit my nose on this stupid mic. He was like, oh, my God. I hit my nose. Well, it's okay. It freaking hurt super bad. Good I, job. I went to no. I went to talk and I accidentally bit it. <laughs> I was like, no, but <laughs> don't chip a tooth on these things, guys. <laughs> Anyways, that hurts so bad. My <laughs> eyes are watering. Yeah. Oh, so on Friday, uh, we started with wire. So that was. Um, I always kind of enjoy starting with wire just because prep is easier. Oh, I feel yeah. like so it's Definitely. it's nice because it's not just like straight into like hours of prep. If it was straight in the poodle, that'd be terrible. Yeah, yeah. I definitely I like building up to it because I feel like poodle is one of the hardest. So I just I feel like um, it's a nice build up to it. Not that wire isn't difficult, but I just think the prep is e- smoother. So easy. I feel like they do that on purpose, right? Hopefully, Ho- like they, like, I maybe I hope so. I never thought about that before because I feel like poodles always in the afternoon. They put a lot of thought into the order. I'm sure because remember they switched it up a little bit, well, they and did. people were like. There no, was a lot it's of people still switched. Yeah, but a lot of people were happy, and a lot of people oh, were like, yeah, "Oh, yeah. I don't like this." So, like, mm-hmm. yeah. people get really used to that order. Um, but yeah, so you competed in wire with your Scotty, not with my Scotty, with Danica's Scotty. Well, beautiful Chewy. Scotty. Yeah, His name's Chewy. He's a beautiful boy. And then our Jeanette um, competed for the very first time with her wire fox terrier. Um, and so that was super duper exciting. And she got a uh, second place in entry and best and first time. Best timer. first time. Yay, yeah, Jeanette. Do a little clappy thing. Yay, yeah. yeah, Jeanette. Woo woo. So that was okay. I can't See? stop it. It's just got to play out. If you press it again, it'll just restart. Oh, okay. Oh. But that, you know, that was really nice because uh, I, I felt like. I see you about to. And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a real source of pride, right? Because like I yeah. taught her how to hand strip. 
And although, you know, like we don't know all the intricacies of the wire fox terrier, so that's something we're kind of learning with her, but it was really just nice to like, we did it. We did a good job. Yeah, it you really know, was. We're spreading. It was nice to see her, you know, and then also her, right, for her self-confidence as mm-hmm. well um, to just know that we're doing a good job. And it was cute. Cause she's like, I don't. I didn't bring anything to wear. They said I have to wear something fancy for for best first timer or the oh, competition yeah. at the end. And she's like, I gotta go shopping. And yeah, <laughs> she was so cute. She got this cute <laughs> little jumpsuit. I really liked yeah. her. That was my first time meeting her. I really liked her. Jenna, yeah. I like you. <laughs> yeah, it's super. It's honestly just super rewarding seeing yeah. her flourish. Nathan uh, didn't get any love, but he got some good critiques. Yeah, they said I was right there. You know, but the I got good critiques. Yeah. Um, that are really helping me dial it in. So thank you, Victor, for that. I'm going to try my best to apply those to my next groom. But Mm -hmm. I think Sue Watson was your judge for that, too. And thank you, Sue. Yeah. Always thank your judges, by the way. Always thank your judges. Well, I mean, they've taken a long time, too, right, to dial in these things and then to help spread that information. Um, I always really appreciate, you know. Mm -hmm. And I really enjoy... I I really like... um, critiques from Victor because he's an AKC judge as well for confirmation. He mm-hmm. always includes like why um, and in like the movement of the dogs. So for me as uh, somebody who shows dogs and breeds Scotties, I really appreciate when he incorporates like, oh, well, you want to do this because when the dog moves, you don't want this hair to pop out and then it's going to look like your yeah. dog's elbowing out or like your dog, you know what I mean? And he's like, and it's a nice dog, so you don't, you know what I mean? He gives you a good why. Yes, and so that helps really translate it for me because then when the dog is moving, I'm looking for it because he mentioned it, but I might not have looked before. So I, I really appreciate his critiques. But anyway, so that wire was great. I mean, it, I of course, it sucks when you don't get a placement, but um, I was really proud of Jeanette for hers. Yeah. Also, while we were doing wire, um, we were pre-shopping before the <laughs> floor oh, opened, yeah. and then one. I got kicked out. Yeah, he got kicked so out. So I got kicked out because I wasn't an assistant. I was enlisted as an assistant for somebody. <laughs> so it was the Pat. show doesn't the trade show doesn't open. Tacoma, you have to add me as a oh, as okay. an assistant. I was, I was like, what? what um, did I do? <laughs> so it was nine, literally nine fifty seven, and the show opens at ten. And this guy comes up and he was like, "You can't be in here." Mm-hmm. And I was like, "Well, I've been in here since eight. And he was like, "Well, they shouldn't let you in. You have to come out. You have to go out." And I was. So he like stood there until I followed him out. So I went outside and I stood by the door for the last two minutes. Watching. And I was like counting. I was watch- looking at my watch and I was like literally counting down. And someone walked in and was like, oh, we can't come in yet? No, nope, you have another minute and 15 seconds. And I was, I was not very nice. Because I was so annoyed. I, I, was, well, I, literally I was like, I was just standing already. on the other side of the door. Well, I feel like we turned around for like two seconds and then you were gone. And yeah. we're like, where the hell did Juan go? I mean, okay, I, I know I, I, they have to do their job. And I know yeah. that if it was like ninth, like if it was like, it was three minutes, bro. Like yeah. two and a half minutes. You think maybe somebody told him? Maybe. Who though? He was with us and we had the right badges. So who was like looking and was like yeah. that guy or like you're like yeah. disturbing you said, the piece or, or something. Right? We didn't notice. We had yeah, like he was just gone. We were buying something <laughs> and we turned around. He's and seen he was you gone. and he's like, that's my target. <laughs> over there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm gonna take on him. Well, he yeah. was a little dude, so maybe he was like, uh, yeah. yeah, get out. <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, and then, yeah. I, I had yeah. a little bit of an issue with one of the security people, too. It wasn't a big... I mean, it actually wasn't an issue at all. Oh, my but God. No. So she I was get just, these drinks. No. Well, or we're at okay, this wait, drink. Go though, back. Because we had a run-in with her already. So um, the very mm-hmm. first day when we were trying to find the classroom for Jess Rona, and we told Jeanette, like, oh, yeah, bring your Wirefox here. She could use a walk. And, of course, she starts shitting right in the middle of the hallway. Which is carpet. Which is carpet. And um, little turd, even though we were outside, like, two minutes prior. Mm-hmm. And um, <laughs> and so then the lady was like, your dog's pooping. You know, she's like, she was pretty rude about it. And we're like, oh, sorry, like, she's a puppy. You know, like, we'll clean it up. And um, Also, it's a dog event. It's a dog event. Dogs are going to piss and shit in there. Obviously, we try to not, but, like, shit happens. Yeah. Literally. Literally. <laughs> Literally. Well, somebody else walked up after and was like, you know, that was, like, also security and was like, it's okay. It's not a big deal. We'll take yeah. care of it. Um, so that was already our first run-in with her. Yeah. So we're at the um, we're at that meeting for the California Groomers uh, Association, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Make sure to give um, them a follow, especially yeah, if you're... Yeah, which you uh, should... If you're in California, you should definitely join. Um mm-hmm. And follow Rick. follow Terry D Marino, mm-hmm. but so we're at that thing and we're drinking or and 
they give us drink tickets because we fill out some surveys. And me and Ronnie, I had three drink tickets. I because I got Katie's and I, I kind of just like someone gave me theirs, mm-hmm. so I got three drinks. <laughs> and I'm holding the drinks, and I have a plate of cheese and <laughs> uh, the accoutrement that come with it. <laughs> and I'm walking out the door, and this that the lady's there, and she's like runs up to me. No, stop! You can't bring alcohol out. And I was like, oh, I'm just gonna bring it up to my room. And she goes, no, you can't come out. I was like, well, I have three drinks. You know, like, she's like, I don't care. That can't come out of here. I don't know what you're going to do with it. Just leave it in there. So I go in there. <laughs> I pound the three drinks. I'm like, I'm not Can't wasting this. So I drink well, all three Ronnie drinks. T- Ronnie had two drinks, yeah. too. And, it's and he, doesn't drink. he, doesn't, he drink. doesn't drink. They were for one. So we drink the three drinks, and he drinks his two. And we're both kind of like, we did it within five minutes. So we're both a little like sloshed. Mm-hmm. And I open the door, and the lady's right there. And I'm like, are you fucking happy now? I'm drunk. <laughs> Is this what you wanted? I was in a nice, but I was trying to be funny. But the lady was like, I think she didn't take it that way. And I was like, I'm sorry. Well, I'm trying to be funny, and I'm a little drunk now. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we were getting ready, ready for this. Too, right? <laughs> yeah, Ronnie said that as soon as she like told you guys to go back in, he put his drinks down, then went back outside. And was like, I know this is your job, and I understand, but we don't know what the rules are, and you're being very aggressive. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't know what happened. Uh, she responded. Oh, or I didn't what, remember that. So I just well, you busted were open drinking. the door and I was like, I'm drunk now. Are you happy? <laughs> Poor lady. Yeah. She's like, oh, don't hit me. <laughs> hey, but, no, <laughs> no, aggressive. But you know what, though? On the last day, I was rushing to our class with this guy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And she started pooping in the hallway, and I was by myself. Was she there? <laughs> yes. <laughs> She's like, those I motherfuckers <laughs> there again. No, but she was super nice because I was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry because I was trying to rush to the class, and I, like, grabbed her up. She had only gotten, like, one nug out, and I was like, I got to run her outside so she doesn't keep pooping. And she was right there, and she's like, it's okay. Shit happens. And I was like, what the hell? Oh, damn. Thank you, Ronnie. Ronnie. Thank yeah. you, yeah. Ronnie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Talk to her. So apparently Ronnie's talk did did it because then she you know they like cleaned it up while i was outside finishing the poo you know what i want to thank that lady because i was sloshed the rest of the night just perfect amount of drunk Mm. well we had to go do gabriel's interview after that. yeah so if you notice nathan's a little drunk in that one i was (laughs) drunk well we that's where we the three of us were we were getting everything ready and yeah with gabriel they were stuck in the room drinking (laughs) apparently Oh, They're no. like, hurry up, yeah, hurry drink. up and get to the rooms of help. And we're like, we're like sorry, dude, we have to drink all these drinks. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just sitting there talking to people, just getting smashed. Yeah. Freaking asshole. <laughs> but anyways, let's finish Friday. <laughs> well, yeah, so then there was sporting. Sporting and Nathan did sporting. Yeah. And then no placement in sporting either. With Good the critiques English again, setter, You did that English setter, and he was gorgeous. We really appreciate the owner. She came and she watched and... Um, the dog was I, incredibly well behaved. So I like really the appreciate the owner, but she w- I don't like working on a dog in front of the owner, so it made me feel like nervous. Like I just didn't want to do too much because I didn't want like I didn't Well, you never know. Sometimes when you're working on a dog, you that might do you something that know. they don't want you to do or something. Mm-hmm. Well, not just that, but sometimes unintentionally, you know, you're like stripping or carding and like the dog makes a noise or something. And then, you know what I mean? like Any number of things. Any number of things, yeah. And so you're just like more cautious. Like, oh, I don't want to mess yeah. up. Yeah, like poodle and and um, all of the purebreds, one thing. But like stripping and, and, and sporting, like it's... I will say that the sporting competition used to be my least favorite. Mm-hmm. But I'm actually really learning to appreciate yeah. that, that class. Mm-hmm. And think, just like yeah. seeing... Because I, I I've never been a spaniel dude, mm-hmm. yeah. and then like now seeing like well bred beautiful spaniels all mm-hmm. just lined up with like beautiful haircuts, I was like, "What's your favorite?" This is kind. Of <sighs> You're gonna say American? Aren't I'm you? gonna say I'm, uh, Black American. Yeah, they're fancy as hell. Yeah. That's I what th- Pina says. She's a Pina <coughs> and all. Yeah. <laughs> Also, uh, Jody, she's like, get a black cocker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, I just think all the sporting dogs are so beautiful. Their furnishings, the way and the way they shine, you know, under mm-hmm. the lights, especially. I'm like, oh. Yeah, I just love how silky it is. Yeah, it's they just look so. I want a black and white. I like high contrast. Yeah, yeah. black and white English cocker. I, the the I dual tries. colors always m- mess with my eye because I feel like, you know how it's like, is that lopsided or is that just the coloring like yes but i feel like when you're looking at a lineup and you see one with Uh. with black and white markings on it if if, especially if the markings are defined Mm -hmm. i feel like that contrast draws your eye to it so i think it has that little bit of like it's very flashy well i really like the one you did in was it charm city the that 
Crash. Yeah, Crash. He's super he, no, beautiful. Um, he's like the tri. Windy City. Windy City. Yeah. He, He's just, I like his contrast. Yeah. He's really pretty. With a little Pina, bit of tan. Pina told me, she said, like, I would only compete with a black and white or black, white, and tan English cocker. Mm-hmm. And when she told me that, that's what I was like, all right, that's all I'll ever do then. Or all if I'll ever it try was, yeah, to if do. If it was an English cocker, yeah. If we get another one, which we might, because Katie's on a mission for us to have infinite yes. amount of dogs. Yes. <laughs> we might end, we might end up with one. Uh, we will. I'm <laughs> on a waiting list. <laughs> And Nadia said Katie's that like, she would. Can help. I have? An, can we get another? I'm like, don't, just don't ask me no more. Just like, just do just it. Show up with a puppy. Just yeah. do it, honey. We're getting another dog. Anyways, <laughs> so you didn't, you didn't get any love with the Eng- English setter, but again, it was like another like you were yeah. on the cusp. Your dog was really nice, yeah. um, and, but uh, they do freestyle at the same time, mm-hmm. and so Ashley um, competed for the first time, um, one of our employees, and she did so good. I loved her dog. Like I was, so I was surprised she didn't get a placement because I too. really loved her dog. Yeah, I thought shout it was out to so Ashley. Good. Well, she, she did, had a big did a dog, fantastic job with a puppy. Her and dog it was her was first puppy, time. Yeah. The dog's first time, and that dog is a little anxious. Yeah, and Ashley's first time competing. Oh, and her brother. And her her brother, brother is one of our friends, and he Dakota. Yeah, Dakota. It was shout his out first Dakota. time too. <laughs> his first time competing on his own little English cocker. Um, and he got best. He got first place in entry and best first timer. We so were congratulations. super super congratulations. proud. He was very nervous to compete. He was like, I don't know. And we were like, you know, you should um, certify too. And he was like, well, I don't know. And I was like, Blake, that guy over there wants to certify. <laughs> he was so worried, and of course he passed. Yeah. Like clearly. Well, he had come like the week before to get pointers from Nathan. And I think yeah, I helped a little bit, but uh, honestly, his trim was pretty on. He, yeah, I just he's helped put him in with a some lot finer of, points, so yeah. I don't want to take any credit for. He like, put in a lot of good work. Yeah. He's been working hard trying to get that haircut right. So, and I, also congratulations to him and his wife just opened up their own salon. Yeah, yeah, yes, mm-hmm. yeah uh, Lafleur Grooming. Yep, in Oakland. Yeah, we're very proud of them. They are, they've been working really hard, so they're working towards certifying and. They're good people, so I was glad that he got his placement. Yeah, Shay did. Uh, Shay did compete in that one too, but and similarly, freestyle. she didn't get anything. But I thought her dog looked nice too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're both good. They're yeah. both good, talented groomers, and mm-hmm. they're nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. we love yeah. nice people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, and then after we <laughs> spent all day competing, or Nathan spent all day competing. Uh, we went and did Gabriel's interview. That was really fun. I was. I, was, was, was I fun. really appreciate how open he was about answering all the questions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I mean, you guys watched it, and it was just, it was hilarious. Yeah. 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 He was, well, he we, was, was really a good fun. time. We seen, we seen Jonathan, Jonathan David at Starbucks the next morning. Mm-hmm. And we're like, oh, we were talking to him, and he said he went on this cruise. And he goes, did he tell you about the cruise? Because <laughs> it's supposed to be a, a gay guy's secret. <laughs> <laughs> the cruises, straight people aren't supposed to know. And I was like, oh, well. Now we know. Yeah, now he we told know. us. And is we it, told like, everyone. Is it, have you, do you know anything about that? Is it supposed to be a secret? <laughs> I mean, I know, but I'm also gay. So, <laughs> Has it ever been told to you, like, this is not something for straight people to I know? I think he was just, oh, well, he was just yeah, messing with you. I think most gay events are, like... So it's like circuit parties. Have you heard of circuit parties? No. I haven't. Oh. Tell okay. me. Okay. So circuit <laughs> parties are, it's pretty much a whole bunch of like shirtless dudes and like jock straps underwear, mm-hmm. uh, typically on like some kind of drug or like drinking and stuff. And it's just a whole, like a dance party. And it's like mm-hmm. also doubles as like a hookup area. Why is it circuit? Is it like plug the, the in music. Oh, the music. Okay. It's mm-hmm. like very like rave, like, <laughs> like just very quick. Jeez. Um, mm-hmm. And then at, uh, Atlantis, the cruise is, it's a gay cruise and you just go, you just know that that's the that's what just happened. I have heard that about gay cruises before that. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's not, it's not a, not a secret. secret. Someone's coming up to the door. Just ignore it. Oh, shit. The door's locked. <laughs> oh, hi. We're actually closed. Yeah. We're recording a podcast. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Poor lady. Does she have her dog with her? Yeah. She had like a Yorkie. Oh. Okay. Where were we? Uh, so Freddy. something. <laughs> we were talking about Freddy. Gabriel. Oh, and gay cruises. <laughs> gay cruises. Oh, but yeah. you know, so something. Oh, she's right here. I'm the one with the Scotty stuff. Oh, She's like, I'm just going to get on the table. Yeah, you guys, yeah. Look, if you guys are watching this, look at our pregnant baby. She's been confirmed. Confirmed pregnant. pregnant. Bitch. So we call her Beep. That's her nickname. Beep, Beep, Beep. beep. So um, stop. Okay. Because so when we first got her, around, that's what, don't, don't step on the laptop. So when we first got her, <laughs> it, her name has always been Friday, but she, a Scotty. So she doesn't really respond to her name as well at first, right? Mm-hmm. So we're just making noises, and we went beep, 
And then suddenly Don't. she like looks straight at us. <laughs> And then we'd go beep, 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 beep. And when we did that, she'd just come running. From wherever she was, she'd just come running. So that's her name now? So, na- so, so she's then we that go little beep, 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 baby. I want a beep, beep, But now baby. the beep, beep is pregnant, so we call them the beep, beep, babies. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They beep always beep. have interesting little names. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, so for some reason, it just popped into my head. We experienced... Um, during some of these, right? Because it was me and you and Ronnie and sometimes Kat, right? Um, there was a lot of people putting that they were first timers when they were very much not mm. first timers. Yes. And I thought yeah. that, I don't know if it was like... The first time at that confu- show? Yeah, like maybe yeah. they were confused because it was their first time at specifically and Grim Expo West. And it wasn't a single West, person, there was a number of people. There was several yeah. of them. So just in case anybody's confused... When they ask you if you're a first timer, they mean have you ever competed in any competition, including an online grooming competition? It doesn't have to be like, oh, this is my first time here, or I've competed in another country, or it's like ever. Have you ever competed, Nathan? I will stealing say, my baby. I will say that I was on hot dog before I competed at Super Zoo mm-hmm. and I said I was a first timer because I didn't but think I don't hot dog. Think, I don't hot dog, hot dog don't that count. was a TV show though. I don't yeah. feel like it's this, it's not, That's it true. wasn't, um, I just don't think it's this, the same, but if it's well, cause you, I don't know. How you're not in front of a crowd. Well, I didn't get it anyway. So. Yeah. <laughs> Heather got it. Yay, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that, it, I just noticed it because I've never, We've been to a lot of competitions, and I've never noticed so many. There was, like, a lot of them. Mm-hmm. Do you think we just like, paying attention more, though? Mm, uh, maybe because I've been doing it for longer, so I was like, I know that person's competed. I know that person's competed. Why also, did they pe- put first-timer? people want that, like, extra bit of, like... Uh, I'm a first-timer. Or you have a ch- another chance of winning. Right? Yeah. yeah. But it's not and cool. I think people might not be confused cool, guys. with, like, maybe that show. Maybe. First time competing at that show. I love to organize things and like make spreadsheets and stuff. I would mm-hmm. love to, I don't know if they have it, but like, I feel like all competitors should kind of have like, like a social security number, kind of like an mm-hmm. identification number that's yours that you, you know, and then have like a spreadsheet of like who competed at like what show and what placements and four I competitions. Feel, yeah. yeah. Cause I feel well, like there's just so many competitors. Well, that's true. Too. It kind of gets lost and I would I love to do that. I I'll think, volunteer. I think that's something, <laughs> another grooming podcast, like with the interviews we were doing, I mm-hmm. think we could like highlight like a sports cast type of thing, but mm-hmm. competition. Well, and I mean, because I do think that would be really helpful because not even just for best first timer, but there were some people um, and same thing where I don't know if maybe I just know people and we've been going to so many competitions. I'm noticing who's placing, but there were some people where I was like, that person's supposed to have been moved up. Mm-hmm. They definitely won specific awards that they should have moved themselves up. Yeah. It's not really my place to say, but it is kind of annoying when you notice like, hey, that person shouldn't have been yeah. in entry anymore. And if they get a placement, that's not fair to the, all the other people because they should have already been bumped up into intermediate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I had a, a big competitor tell me recently, um, we were talking a little bit about this, about something similar, but I don't want to get too deep into it, but they're like a lot of people they were feeling really defensive of the people that are first timers because they're they're coming out of their shell. It's mm-hmm. scary. They're coming to this show. They're really putting themselves out there. And so when somebody that necessarily doesn't deserve or not doesn't deserve, but when somebody is taking, kind of taking the, the place, or yeah, taking the place of someone that like that ha- like truly hasn't competed. But I, before. I do think most of it is like just not knowing. Yeah. I don't know if well, yeah, do I don't think it's I don't think it's malicious at no. all. I think some people just maybe don't read the rules all the way or like if they haven't been paying attention like should I be moved up into the next level or not? Um, you know, so like cuz um I know I think one of the for entry, right? It's like if you win a best in show it like how Windy City does a best in show for entry and open. So then if you win that, I believe you're supposed to move into intermediate mm-hmm. cuz now if you were entry and you won a best in show, then you need to move up. So similarly, like if you're at a competition and it's only like entry intermediate and you win the show, then you're supposed to move up. Mm -hmm. But I I think uh, not a lot of people read the, it's hard. It's hard to read the rules and like really understand them. So I do think it's confusing. So somebody keeping score that no, you know, like keeping (sighs) track of all of that, that can go like, okay, Now you move up. Also, too, like if you're a listener and you get a placement, we'd love to interview you. Yeah. I feel like we want to do more interviews of people that get placements and people maybe first timers just Mm -hmm. to get your experience. But we're so busy. 
So well, if you if you hear this and you to get a placement or you're a first timer, or you get like honorable mention, and we're you know, at the like, show, and we're at the show, come ask to, for us to interview you. Yeah. We tried. Well, so <laughs> it's hard. We, it's no, hard. no, no, no. We tried yeah. and we couldn't originally. Remember, the we did all thing. the wire and the microphones weren't. We did it three oh, times yeah. and then we, we figured it out. We, figured right? it out. Like, we yeah. ended up figuring Use it out. Air. But yeah. after three times, we're like, we're not going back to those same people again. <laughs> yeah. So then I just walked the floor and did a few interviews and yeah. put them on the story. You did that great. was fun. Thanks. Next yeah. time, next time. But it's hard too, mm-hmm. though, because it just gets so wild to yeah. like find mm-hmm. the time and then. You get sidetracked talking to people and enjoying yourself and like. Well, also it's like on your social battery, it's it's a lot. It's, it's heavy on your. Social it's battery. yeah, I love it, but it is very draining. And um, like I love it when people come up to me and ask like for pictures and stuff. But even when my social battery is completely depleted, a picture and I is good. don't I don't want to like talk to anybody. And someone approaches me, I always am like it still like it makes me happy. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like, yeah. It doesn't I, matter how tired we are. Yeah. No. Well, so then, um, after our interview with Gabriel, we oh God, I think we all just, just went to. Bed. I'm just breathing 100 percent the fart right now. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. No, Pregnant didn't we go to the, didn't we go to the bar and have a drink, or was that the first? Oh night? no, you're right. We after a, Gabriel, we did go to the bar because we didn't eat dinner, and yeah, we so we ordered food. We were yeah. eating the horty tories. <laughs> the what? Horty what? tories. <laughs> Doesn't that what? It's a never mind. What is no, happening? No, you have to say it. What's a horty? Is it a food? <laughs> It's like an hors d'oeuvre, but horny toity. Uh, oh, <laughs> the hoity toity? <laughs> what is happening? Are you talking about the, uh, what do they call it? Cheese and it's yeah, a. Yeah, you brought uh, the Oh my God, I can smell the <laughs> fart now. I like was breathing in literally like 100% her fart. <laughs> Pregnancy I, farts. Blow it away. <laughs> she's been Don't feeling bloat. bloated because she has, she's with child, but like. <laughs> Child's. I think she just Child's. like lost a, a good inch around the waist after that thing. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, anyways, you brought the little appetizers, yeah. and we were all snacking on the charcuterie. No. Oh yeah, from the thing. But yeah, so we didn't. Eat you got it. to leave mm. the room with that, just not the alcohol. Yeah. So we went to the bar afterwards. I left with the alcohol. It was fun. In it your, was inside. It was just in my body. <laughs> yeah. It was a lot of fun though. We got to take like a bunch of pictures with a lot of friends and chit chat. Okay, let's and share those really pictures. Expensive. No, we, uh, oh. we should share those pictures here. <laughs> on this, yeah. and we will. Yeah, we we'll share some of the photos. Yeah, from the from the bar. And then we had pretty. It got a little turn. Well, yeah. we had to drag Nathan back up to the room because the <laughs> next day was like a busy. He's like, no, it's fine. And I'm like, bro, we have like we're gonna be prepping the carry at so freaking six you know in what's the morning. Is like I really didn't want to leave, but as soon as I got in the bed, I was like, no. I should have. No, I, I was. I didn't feel good. Oh, I was like, mm. I should have been in bed and not drinking. Yeah, yeah. But should've, when I'm there, I'm like, I'm just a. I wish I, I I wish I did that more. What? Like it was really fun to like hang out with like because I mean, out like when that? yeah because like how often do you get a bunch of groomers together <laughs> getting a little drunk and like a little loose and just like talking yeah. shit having and fun, having yeah. fun and stuff like okay. I mean we do it regularly. Yeah. We're gonna do it more. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's the next show? Tacoma. 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 There's a bar there. Yeah. yeah, there's a bar there. No, that one's a really I've fun never, one. I've never been to that show. Me either. I'm excited. It's, it's a, a it's a fun show. It's a fun. The hotel's cool too. Yeah, they have like art installments and it's fun. It was a lot of fun. Well, and last time we went, it was nice because um, we had like a I can't remember. It was a, a dinner. We had dinner with like all the Canadian groomers, so that was really nice because that was like the first time they Im- ever also like Macy. invited. Uh, yeah, Macy, Macy too. But that was like the first time they ever invited us to like go out you they know? gave me canadian like, money but oh. i lost it I, something happened to it it doesn't well, feel it doesn't feel like paper it's like plastic or something i'm sure it's somewhere in our home so it's not <clears> lost <throat> per se i was it's like but that's a straight no it's like I'm now sorry. you combine I'm sorry them for that. <laughs> <laughs> i apologize for my comments <laughs> um so that was really nice so maybe we'll because uh, i feel like they come to um, Tacoma. So if they all come to Tacoma again, then maybe we can eat with them. Party again. with the Canadians. Yeah, we like partying with the Canadians. Hit, hit, yeah. Nudge, nudge. <laughs> um. Anyway, please. Yeah. please. <laughs> so, but, well, that's, I, well, that's. I feel like that's why they invite. There was like a simple. You know, they're like Nathan had a really rough weekend. Let's like let's <laughs> cheer him up. You know. <laughs> yeah. I was like, thanks, guys. I literally was like, Macy was there, and she's like, "How do you feel?" And I'm like, "I don't know if I want to do this." <laughs> it was like, a literally rough weekend th- because like. Oh, that was when you went by yourself, year. like at the middle no, of the night. No, it was we just both like went, but it was like a grueling weekend. Oh, okay. It was just so grueling, and like I just wasn't getting love. I, I mean, I keep, I don't mind losing, and I don't mind like, but when 
but like, I keep getting told like, oh, you're so close. And it's just it's hard. It's yeah. And I appreciate the judges saying that because I know they're trying to make me feel better. But it's just like um, emotionally draining when they're like, mm-hmm. you're so close. You're so close. But mo- everyone there. So I don't want to like I don't like saying it because everybody there. Ninety percent, ninety nine. Everybody's of working losing, hard. Right? Mm-hmm. Or everybody's 90. working hard and everybody's losing. But that doesn't mean it's not. It's. But it's sh- so not sh- hard to lose, though. It's so Macy and and um, who else was there? There was Jovi was yeah, there. Yeah, they were all very Nadia nice. Nadia was were there. Not even, yeah, and they wanted to like, lift my spirits. So I feel was, like, like that thank was you guys. I really appreciate you. Yeah. Well, well Canadians are known for being nice. I yeah. feel like that was like, the first time that <laughs> like the open level competitors, other open level competitors, like were like, come do something Embraced with us. It. And yeah. that, you know, so that I felt like made it really meaningful. Um, yeah. Because we had, like, I think we felt like outsiders still a little bit, you know, at that point. But it felt like, oh, people might, like, maybe people kind of like me a little bit. Maybe yeah. just a little bit. There's, you know, because you look up to them so much, right? Their grooms mm-hmm. are so incredible. Um, and you're, like, fighting and scrapping and getting into open and then, like, fighting for anything, um, you know, in the beginning, right? So I just, it was really nice. It was very nice of them. It made us feel accepted. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, and we anyway. got some, we got like the craziest stories. <laughs> jo- Jovi has like some wild, but maybe we'll have her on sometime. Yeah. She could talk about it. We should have Jovi I don't want to say, I, um, honestly. We I, don't want to tell other people's stories. <laughs> yeah. It's not appropriate, but <laughs> <laughs> they well, need no. to be heard. You know, It's appropriate <laughs> for our show. It's not appropriate for us to tell somebody else's <laughs> stories. Yeah. We Anyways. <laughs> okay. So, so. Let's move on. <laughs> so we the, went let's to move bed on, on from Friday. the side quest. <laughs> so it's Saturday morning. Yeah, so you did all other peer bread and yeah. Kat did all other peer bread. So and the carry and the Bashan. Thank you. Everyone was saying my carry looked great, but now that I look at pictures of it, I'm not happy with the way it looks. Really? Yeah. Well, but um, they did you, again they said it was that one they said was between you and Nadia for third, and we're like, yeah. damn it. Damn and then it. like I asked Blake, and I always ask Blake what he thinks because I think he has a really good knowledge of profile. And now what he told me is, like, when I look at that dog, that's exactly what I see. The other judges, too, but the things that stick out to me the most was, uh, like, he was like, I, I think you pinched the waist. And I was like, I like a fancy waist. Now, but then I look at the picture now, and I'm like, I fucking pinched the waist. Mm. You know, and, like, I just – but – I got all different critiques and they were all right and they were all like I'm like and now I'm just looking at the trim and I'm like it fucking sucks yeah <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even want to look at my picture well it was it, you know it I thought you did a really good job mm-hmm. I thought your dog looked great obviously there was things that you could have done better um, but I did think you did a really good job also to the trim like had fallen apart like I I did have him on my regular rotation so I had him in good shape for. But then he fell off for a couple months because um, they moved. They moved, and the, some do- their, one there of their dogs dog got, got sick. sick. Mm. And when they came back, they were com- they were just totally grown out. And I was I was Tore up. this is so this is the second time I groomed him, putting the shape back on him. Oh, okay. So it was kind of like grooming a brand new carry, one not like grooming one of my regulars. Mm-hmm. So I, it already had thrown me off a little bit, you know. Yeah. yeah. And Kat got an honorable mention. Yeah, an intermediate. I did my dog. <laughs> I did wow. my oh dog. Oh my god. Him oh, pound it. I did. She like looked <laughs> right at him. <laughs> oh, why'd I press that one? <laughs> I don't think I heard that one before. <laughs> the, 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 the magic. <laughs> Let's do it at the same time. Ready? One. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. One, two, three. <laughs> nice. Anyways, I um, feel like so, that should be the cover for this one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I did my uh, Bashan Lumiere and I did get an honorable mention from Oga. Thank mm-hmm. you, Oga. And um, a lot of it was my scissor work, which is something that Nathan is now helping me practice my scissor work. Even though I've been grooming a long time, scissor work has always been a harder area for me. Well, it's it's definitely, I think it's something you have to pr- like really practice. That like, Consciously. That yeah. straight, like... I can't like scissor without the scissors. I like <laughs> anyway, but like moving in a straight line and like locking your arm and like it's yeah, a not lot. not grooming for my wrist, which is what I tend to do, right? I tend to groom for my wrist. Yeah, quick tip: scissor from your shoulder or your legs, not your wrist or your elbow. Yeah, you want to lock them. Yeah, lock so it. I groom a lot from my wrist, and I'm trying to. It's hard because like I'm trying to train myself to groom from my shoulder. 
I do um, use the curve of my wrist when I'm doing like certain things. certain things. Like if I'm doing like but it's the knowing neck, but it's knowing when to, when to use that and then when to be locked. Mm -hmm. So I definitely need to practice my scissor work, um, especially if I ever plan on going into open. Um, yeah. She said my profile was good. I could have left a little more on his underside because his ears kind of were sticking out I a think little bit. I think it's probably tough with Olga, too, because that's her breed. Yeah. But, you One know, I them. got good critiques, and I always appreciate them, and I was honored to get an honorable mention because... You I, were honored. I was honored. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think it was the only honorable mention in... I think. Yeah. In Intermediate, too. Yeah. 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 Um, big so deal from Olga. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was happy with that. Although mm -hmm. I wish there was a ribbon for it, but oh yeah, another one where there's no <laughs> ribbon for honorable mention. I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make well, my I think own. it's because the <laughs> judges, I'm just joking. the judges no, decide. I know. Yeah, they get to decide. Well, um, but at Charm City, they had like a whole stack of honorable mention ones. Oh, but also <laughs> when <laughs> when we seen when Ronnie or when Juan came today, he told me that. Um, that Anne said she was proud of me, and that yes. means a lot to me. So I don't know if she's saying this, but thank you. And she said she gave me the honorable man, and, and you know that means a lot. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm like, <laughs> that's all I ever wanted. <laughs> and then, <laughs> uh, you know what though? No truer words have ever been spoken. Yeah. Um, <laughs> for Nathan, yeah. he's definitely looking for a mother's love. Yeah. Just saying. Just cuddle me, babe. That's it. No, <laughs> that's all I want. She is a mother, just not. Yeah. Well, sometimes we feel like your mother. Anyway, you and keep it on track. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> we're just a disciplinary. Yeah, we're part very of it. disciplinary. <laughs> the salons. The wow, salons everyone's gonna so get attacked by these microphones. Everyone's just super chill now with me <laughs> in the salon. Yeah. Everyone's just like, oh, that's just Nathan. Mm -hmm. He doesn't know what he's doing. And I'm like, <laughs> I, just, I just love that. I just get to be like an idiot all day and just like. Just yeah. people tell me what to do all yeah. day, and I'm just like, they're just like four this. hours grooming even, one dog. Even even my apprentices, yeah, they're like, oh, now back. groom this dog, Nathan. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm well, like, what dog like, do what I do now? Next? I'll look around at everybody. I'm like, who do I have yeah, next? And I'll be like, schedule. oh, this dog. And I'll just go get him, just in my <laughs> head, you know. The like, nice thing is though is that you just go like, okay. <laughs> Because some people, I feel like, would be like, oh, I don't know what to do next. And then they'd be like, no, I don't, you know, like fight you on it. But you're just like, if I'm like, this is your next dog, you're like, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Tell me why you take critique so well, though, because you're like actually like, all right. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's true. Because I do, that is something that we've heard a couple of times is that some um, people don't take them well. Some people don't take critiques well, but Nathan always is like, okay, yes, I can absolutely see that. Thank you for pointing that out. Yeah, I don't care who you are. If you're getting judged, always try to stay for your critique and always be friendly and listen to what they're saying. Well, Even they if know. for some reason, like, you've been taught by a different person something different, like, it's a different opinion, then you should still listen mm -hmm. and be respectful. Mm -hmm. Well, you, may, you might be judged by that person in the future, and you might just want to know what they like. And mm -hmm. also, every, something different. everyone's just teaching their interpretation of the standard. Mm -hmm. Right. So yeah. Well, and the coasts are different, too. Mm -hmm. One coast is different from the other coast for some grooms. So um, knowing all those intricacies, I think, is important. So, yeah. But you do. I, I'm good at nodding and smiling, but sometimes my feelings get hurt. Dying yeah. inside. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I nod and smile. But then sometimes my feelings hurt. But you're actually always just like, yep, you're right. I fucked up. Damn yeah. it. Yeah. Very good of you. Well, now what? That uh, was in it. So that was like that we was lose again, and I'm like, hooray! Oh yeah, you were struggling. You. I was we on the struggle both, bus. We at were this both point. on the struggle bus because we're like, are we gonna leave with nothing? I like, think that happened last year, right? Yeah, last, last year you got year nothing. I skunked, at and I'm like, this is my show. Last year <laughs> I got best all around groomer, from and, and I was like, from intermediate, and I show up, and I'm like, I'm gonna fucking rule ass, and and then got just nothing. Skunked. So I left home with my tail between the leg, my legs, and I was. That was one of the biggest, like, oh. Mm. Yeah. And so this year we're like, it's happening again. Yeah. yeah. I was like, that's it. Yeah. But well, then you came, your last category? Poodle. Poodle. Yeah. And, and I, I mean, thought for sure that I, when they, when their judging was done and they were looking at my dog, they kept going between me and Nadia. And I remember thinking, like, oh, they're doing, they're looking at us for third. They're trying again. to see. For, again. Yeah, again. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> when they called her. For, for third. third, I was like, I looked at Katie and I shook my head like, that's it. I didn't get nothing. Yeah, he was like, there's, n n n I would have bet a thousand dollars at that moment that I was didn't get nothing. So when they said I got first, it was like, you know, unbelievable. Yeah. Spoiler. He and got everybody first. fucking <laughs> screams like, I can't believe the crowd how wild everybody went. Mm -hmm. Of course, my friend, my best friends are there, right? So like, and we were front row, so we were yeah. Extra it was loud. just like ah. 
Yeah, my voice was literally, I couldn't. <laughs> yeah. I was like, <laughs> it, Jay was, Scruggs it was wild. Was, Jay, uh, Jay Scruggs was like, man, how do you like have people like this that like love you so much and they're like, the crowd's going wild for you. Like, what did you do to like cultivate this like fan base? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm just trying to be nice to everybody. Yeah, be nice. Right? Be nice. I don't know. Be helpful. Well, I like what Jonathan came up and said to you while we were waiting. Because you started crying. You oh, before. yeah. Well, because I was rec- I always record just in case, right? Because well, we you never record. know. <laughs> you just, you never know. And it's so fun to, like, catch that, like, reaction of somebody winning. So I always record. And they did the third. And he, you know, we make eye contact and he shakes his head. And I'm we like, We should post mm. that video. We'll post that video on the AGP, too. Yeah. And, uh, you know, and we're, like, sad. And they did second place. And that was Macy. And I was like, hmm. You know, and then he came, he comes over and he sits next to me and I was like, oh, you know, a little embarrassed that I was recording, you know, like as though I thought for sure he was going to win, you know, and I was like, I always record just in case. And then he was like, well, just keep recording. And I was like, what? And then she got what do you all mean? Like, oh my God, Friday. Jesus. <laughs> she's gassing us out God, today. way to ruin a moment. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to have to kick you out if you do that again. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that was, it was, you know, it was very sweet because, um, the last time you had groomed Helios was for super zoo jackpot and he was the judge and he had given you several critiques. Um, and he, you know, he was like, you did like, you took those critiques and you really applied them and you did a fantastic job. So Thank it was, you, Jonathan. it was very nice, you know, and same thing for Sue and Jay, you've done that groom for them several times and gotten critiques and they're like, every time you've groomed this dog you've taken like the critiques and done exactly what we asked for. So like, this has been the culmination of, um, years. of several, no, you competed with them all last year, but of all last year and all the critiques you had gotten. Um, and I'm crying and stuff. Cause like, I like to just let my emotions out when it's happening. Like, yeah. And I think that's, one of the wonderful well, things about you. You didn't used to, because I remember when we first got together, you're like, <clears throat> no crying. Well, he was no crying. Very he was a man, gangster. Very man. manly yeah, he man. Was gangster. And then having kids, you're like, uh, but I think that's, I think that's, you know, because we talked about that, like being able to cry in front of your kids so they know it's that's like what it acceptable. Comes down to. I want Owen and he's that old to be able to see that. Yeah, it's can do that. normal for guys to I don't show think their he's old emotions. Has an issue with crying in front of you. No. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what, though? Owen hides his crying. Oh, he does? And it, it, uh, it hurts my heart. Yeah. I do think it's somewhat normal, though, because I used to hide my crying. I hate it. But I, I hug him, and I'm like, there's nothing to be ashamed of, dude. I love you. you know, yeah. Like, a good cry feels nice sometimes. Oh, I, love I like a to good do it cry. in private in my room or in the shower. And then I got the group one, right? Like, and I'm... Yeah, that was one. really special. <laughs> it would have been a real fucking bummer if you hadn't gotten that group <laughs> <Yeah>. one. <laughs> and then, <laughs> like, you got to get dressed for... Uh, Best in show line. For best in show. Well, but uh, we had to teach a class. So. Well, yeah, I was going to say, of course. I was like, oh, Sunday is going to be so relaxed because we had a class from 11 to 12 and it was just the Scotty, just a pet clip. So it's not like we had to hand strip or anything. And I was like, oh, it's just going to be so easy. I'll and just I prep just, the Scotty yeah, in the rescue. morning and Kat's going to be doing rescue at the same time. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah, you know, like it's going to be such a chill day. And then Get suddenly, sleep in. yeah. <laughs> and then suddenly we had to like wake up early to like rebathe Helios and like uh, blow dry him and brush him out. And that and, behemoth takes fucking forever. And, and teaching the class was awesome, right? Yes. Well, and okay. We didn't even finish with Saturday though. Yeah. Because no. no. Then you guys went out to dinner with. You guys went out to dinner with Utsumi. We had oh, to yeah. race over. We, <laughs> of course, it we like should to tell the Utsumi story because it was probably like I didn't expect it to be like this. Well, it was funny because uh, you know we had we knew what time. And, uh, but you know, we didn't expect Nathan to get the group one. So like we, suddenly I looked at my phone and I was like, we're supposed to be at the restaurant in like 10 minutes. So then we're like, we left Kat to, Kat and Jeanette to clean up. Thank thankfully. you, Kat and Thank you. And we ran up to the room and like threw new clothes on. Cause I was like, I don't want to go to Brazilian steakhouse in my freaking mm-hmm. prep clothes. Yeah. And we, we show up at this place <laughs> where uh, like out of breath and it's a really nice restaurant, like super we high ran, ceilings, yeah. like 30 foot ceilings big chandeliers and everyone's dressed really nice and fancy and we get there and christy is the uh, one of the she's the oh, owner, the owner of um, utsumi, utsumi america and also the so president nice. from the japan branch was there too yeah they're all super friendly so nice and they're like so what welcoming. do you want to drink we're ordering three bottles of champagne and then they're like ordering cocktails and we sit down and we're like, oh man, there's drinks and like she just keep they just keep ordering. And of course, it's like all you could eat, right? It and, was so nice. And it was then so they're nice. like ordered lobsters. They ordered three lobsters to the table, and these are like extra, 
right? Yeah. It's not like after a part your of, meal. <laughs> it's not part of the all you could eat. So they order three whole lobsters and three whole like plates of shrimp. Yeah. And they're like, bring out a cake that says congratulations on it yeah. to me, right? They're like, so congratulations nice. on your and and yeah, they're like, it was they know how to party. Yeah, you know? there was a bunch there was a lot of those so thank people you. there. And thank you, Christy. Yeah. Mackenzie was there too. We got to talk to her. Um and it was just a lot of it was nice to sit because she got me a lot of insight. You know, she's mm-hmm. done a lot of winning. Mm-hmm. She's and yeah, it was, it was just, just it was, was really nice to talk to her. And um, next thing you know, there's dessert coming. We got tiramisu. <laughs> I'm like, dang, I don't want oh, to see this. No, it was I don't want to see this. No, it bill, wasn't you know tiramisu. Oh no, it I got tres, tres leches. leches. They're like, do you oh. like cake? And I was like, I don't really eat cake. And then Katie's like, they have thr- uh, tres leches. And I'm like, mm. yeah, I love tres leches. I know. People Ronnie don't know. That. People are like, I've never had them. Like, how have you not? Like, I don't, it's, it's I a don't Mexican thing, right? Mm-hmm. What is it? It's just like cake with milk in it or cream or something. Yeah. Cause well, it's so good. It's three milks. Tres. <laughs> <laughs> it's like conden- condensed milk, evaporated milk, and then something else. And then sometimes milk, it's milk. spiked <laughs> with like a, like eggnog or something. Sometimes mm-hmm. it has liquor. It's delicious. Does your aunt add the breast milk? <laughs> yes, and, and cuatro leches. <laughs> <laughs> so, so good. That was really nice, and you guys had to fend for yourselves. I guess yeah. it's also Brazilian. I guess maybe it's yeah, maybe it's just a, a Hispanic Latino thing. thing. Brazilian. Hispanic, you know. Yeah, so um, our dinner wasn't as. <laughs> No. Yeah, so we got the, the party with Utsumi and the rest of everyone else. Had we had to, to fend for ourselves. Yeah, so we went to uh, the yard house, right? We yeah. went to the yard first, and they were like, it's an hour and a half wait. We were like, oh shit, okay. So then we went, walked across to, what was it called? That sushi that ate the Japanese the, place? It's like a Benihana's kind of, like, like a tapenyaki. Um, but also, my card had gotten compromised. <gasps> That's right. And someone spent 650 six, spent six hundred fifty. Dollars on my card, so I had to lock my card and mm-hmm. couldn't. Did you get it. refunded? Uh, I've had four hundred back so far. Mm. Damn. Um, but they said I could take up to ninety days. Mm. But anyways, I just got my brand new card in the mail yesterday, which sucked because I was traveling mm. after that mm-hmm. too. Mm-hmm. But anyways, so yeah, we went to the yard and then we went to the top and yaki place and <laughs> we we got we had to wait. I think they said about thirty minutes or so. Yeah. So we went to the bar and had a drink. And then they sat us at the table and we literally waited. I'm not exaggerating. Like no. at least an hour and 45 minutes to two hours for our food. That's Damn. crazy. It was insane. Well, they didn't even like acknowledge did you tip? us. Did you leave a tip? I did. Yeah. Because it, yeah, it wasn't her fault. Yeah, it wasn't her fault. She was, she, she was managing every table in the room. Oh. Damn. And By the herself. food was delicious. I always tip. Yeah, it was so. yummy. I always I always tip. Tip. Well, that was the place where Nathan got food poisoning the year before. So. Yeah. We don't go but there. only from the... The seafood people seem well, to have issues. That's just assuming, though, right? Leah yeah. had sushi, and she had tummy issues. Mm. Really? Mm-hmm. So don't go there. Just at the Pasadena one. I Yeah, because well, we last year when I skunked, I ate there, and I was like... Violently. I Ill. was violently <laughs> hose, express, uh, hose shooting from both ends. I was in the shower, literally like on my hands and knees, just. Were you sh- muffling it? No, <laughs> I, was, I was in the no, shower, just shitting not. and throwing up. Like I was oh that God. bad. It was that bad. Have you ever done that? No. It's terrible. Waffle stomping. Well, there was it, <laughs> no, I, no, it was liquid. liquid. Oh, that's, like I, okay, it was. Okay. There was no stopping it, so it was either going to be on the floor in the bathroom oh. or in the short shower. You know what I mean? Yeah. Shower. I woke was the up option. and I was like, "Wait a second, I feel weird." And then I like, I was, we're like prepping like, this a morning. Moment, I'm just like super, super vomiting. And then mm. I and then I knew, you know, you're like I have 30 seconds to make a decision. <laughs> to jump in the shower. <laughs> well, no, first oh. I sat, but then like it was, you know, it's coming out the top still. So I'm like, how am I gonna, you yeah. know, am I gonna just gonna shoot it in between my legs? Mm. <laughs> hey, anyway. <laughs> Yeah. That that was his visual. Thank All right. You. It was terrible. Anyways, um, so don't so go there. Don't go there. <laughs> yeah, just then I go that back down to the show and people are looking at me and I just had the most like, worst experience know, of my life. They know <laughs> what I just did. Well, we knew because you had the whole bathroom all morning and we're well, like, like, we had to go down the lobby. Go you potty. still, you still, co- you started, you competed in sporting. We prepped your sporting. Katie's like, dog. you got to wash the poodle. No, he like, pulled out of sporting. No, but he started sporting and then he pulled That's out right. halfway in between because he was like, I got to go up to the room. And then uh, he prepped his poodle, but not very well because he was sick, right? This is last year. Last year. Last year. And then um, he did pull through. I mean, he, you did poodle and you did a beautiful job, but like 
because your prep wasn't as good. Yeah, I couldn't get clean shave work on the on the, yeah. the shave work. So like, because he was dirty still, mm-hmm. he was greasy. Mm-hmm. I didn't scrub him good. But enough. this year we did a much better job. Although prepping for poodle was crazy because like the tubs kept running or the they have. Um, well, Mobiles. we said we were going to talk about this in general. Oh, yeah. So the prep area for. Um, Pasadena, they have three mobile units, and so you can bathe in them. I think they're open from like five to like ten at night. Something I like think that. Um, for prepping, and then they have like five or six tables and like a couple of dryers. They had like they had three velocity dryers and three fluff dryers. Yeah, so it's a decent setup. Um, but anytime, they kept that doesn't seem like enough. It well, a- anytime something goes wrong, it's because people didn't follow the rules. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, and so like the I was waiting. You know, we, there was a line for poodles, but it wasn't too bad. But then the water ran out, and mm. um, so then we had to wait for the water to get filled back up. And, and then someone like turned on to fill up the water tank on and one of them, left it. and just left it on. Yeah, oh, so, then it, like, the so then it overflowed every, if everywhere. overflowed the whole van was full of water and pouring out the front, pouring out the back. Yeah, and they borrow those from people. Yeah, I would not lend my van. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> I would never lend my van to, <laughs> like, people just don't respect it. Yeah, yeah well, and just, you, so then I, you know, I like thank, had to wait for forever. But thank you to the people that did. And <laughs> yes, please keep doing thank it. <laughs> thank you. But I finally get him in and I'm like bathing him. It took like an hour to wait. So thankfully I was there like super early. So I was already a little frustrated, but then uh, we had brought our own table and our own dryer. And so I had them set up in an area separate from all the other tables and dryers so people would know it was somebody else's. And I had like set my towel on it so I'd be ready when I got out. I could just put them straight on the towel and I had set another towel on top of it to dry him with. And um, so then when I was finishing, I called to Jeanette and I was like, hey, can you grab me my white towel? And she was like, it's not here anymore. And then uh, she was like, oh, well, somebody was using your table. And when I walked up, she was like, oh, is this your guys' stuff? And she was like, well, yeah, but I mean, I guess you can use it for now. But like when she comes out, you need it. And I'm like, I don't mind loaning people my stuff if I'm not using it. But be respectful. Ask permission. Don't just set your dog on some random table. So she used your towel as well? They took took it. They took it. Like completely it was gone. She took the white towel that was on top of the table. And then I had laid out another towel to put my dog on. And she had put her wet dog right onto my towel. Wow. And I was like, that's rude. You know, like, I don't, like I said, I don't mind. Like, if she had come in and said, hey, is this your stuff out here? Could I use it? I would have been like, yeah, move my towels. And But when I come out, I need it, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but so I was like, that's not cool, you know. Anytime I Did I you punch have, her? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even uh, oh. get to see who it was oh, personally. We don't know who it was. But I would say, like, anytime, a lot of time when there's drama, it's over, like, people doing, uh, like, getting upset about how other people are doing things in the prep area. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, um, or not respecting each other's space or time or, like, products or, or sharing. equipment. You like I, being respectful. I will say that I, like, I love watching the grooming competitions, and I did slightly feel like oh maybe i should be doing this uh, but then but then i was in the back in the prep area oh, and, and i was like that. fuck this i'm so <laughs> glad i'm not doing this well there's <laughs> other options too you yeah. could prepping prep in the room, in room. is, is uh, yeah i mean cuz we did prep several dogs up in the room cuz we had a table and a dryer in the room too and like a tub for to elevate the dog in the shower um, but like the standard poodle is just yeah. far too big and yeah. his coat is far too dense. You know, if you are planning on prepping in your area, do, in your room, do not use a dual speed dryer. Yeah. You'll Only blow a one speed. You'll blow the and don't blow use it. the heat unless you're just using a handheld heat dryer. Do not use a big one speed with a heat element because you may lose and blow the circuit and you may not, they might not turn it on for hours. So, mm-hmm. and use well, the and bathroom circuit. Yeah. yeah. Oh, because the bathroom circuit will hold more than the regular ones by the tables, mm-hmm. by the nightstands and stuff. So anyway, so then, <laughs> so on Sunday, right, um, Kat had to get up early because she had to do rescue. Well, you had to get up early and prep Helios. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had to get up early and prep my two dogs. We, will, we were like, oh, we'll sleep in because rescue started at 730. <laughs> but like, oh, sleeping in until like 630. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> but nice. Uh, then we had to get up and. 
go prep Helios. And we also had to prep Jeanette's dog because she was doing best, best first time. Yeah. Um, so we did that and they did that while I did rescue and mm-hmm. I got a cute little puppy. They said it was four months old, but I looked at his teeth. He's probably closer to seven or eight months. Um, but he was a very good boy and he was like the scruffy little wiry thing. They said he was a schnauzer mix, but he looked like a first generation doodle to me. Mm. Uh, like, you know, he mm-hmm. had strippable hair and I that's what I ended up doing. I carded him and stripped him and left him like a little schnauzer, round schnauzer muzzle with his uh-huh. eyebrows. Mm-hmm. And he, uh, he was a very good boy. He like he, his only thing was he didn't really want to stand. He was just very he was one of those shut down puppies. But you guys got him a puppuccino and mm-hmm. that made him feel better. Uh-huh. He liked that. And I was the last in the tub. So I only had after I washed him. I only had like half an hour to finish him. <laughs> so I luckily I was stripping him. So I didn't need to do that much because I'd stripped his whole back and put him in like a schnauzer kind of pattern because the rescue was like, oh, he's a schnauzer mix. We'd love to see him. So, yeah, yeah. I put him uh-huh. in a schnauzer pattern, even though you couldn't really tell his legs were longer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, he was a very good boy, though. And um, I ended up getting third. Yay. Nice. Yay. Thank do you, the- Blake. And Sue, uh, Sue Watson. I need to memorize these buttons. <laughs> hey, you're, you're doing pretty good. Oh my God, God. stop already. <laughs> Jesus. Enough. Enough. It was only third place. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> it was only third place. Just kidding. But they said I got third place because he, he was very easy. He was Although a good boy. he was a very good boy until the very end, he we stripped went, him though. We went to go take pictures and he shit in my hand. Nice. nice. Like literally. He should have shit before. Yeah, that would have been. Then maybe you would have gotten second place. Yeah, <laughs> but you well, know, I got bit the whole time. I didn't. I got shit. Yeah, I, so. yeah. Well, remember, I had to. I couldn't even do mine. Oh, yeah. that's right. Last year, I because it was so bad. Joey Volani was like, no. Well, this bit dog is, yeah, it bit Joey Volani. <laughs> he's like, nope. And he's like, this dog is a no. Uh, but rescue isn't always about winning. I was honored to get a place, but hopefully, we groom these dogs to make them feel better and get better homes what? you know okay. a good, a good home i mean true but was it the same rescue organization no it was, it was no. a different one okay well that was actually two years ago right yeah where we I had that one year year remember i had that one year. it was still covid time because there was a whole thing about remember the rescue lady yeah and the lady couldn't get in because she didn't, have, she her didn't have her vaccine or something like that Mm-hmm. Okay, but anyways, that one, those dogs were in horrible shape. They were bad Well, and attitudes. they were like the same ones every year. Yeah. They weren't yeah. even getting adopted. Yeah, my but dog had like over 30 ticks on it, and it was Remember I found wire death. in mine? Yeah. It was like a wire wrapped around its like, in its tail. Yeah. Poor that, babies. That was a hard yeah. rescue. That was a brutal Well, then one. now I think, what about, are those babies getting groomed then? I don't know. Maybe hopefully she doesn't run it anymore. Hopefully. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I guess we, we don't know the whole thing. Right? Yeah. So I don't want to say it. But anyways, this rescue is very nice, very nice. kind, and um, they really seem to have a love for the dogs they were working with. And nice. All the dogs were in pretty good, you know, they weren't in horrible shape. There was a few matted ones, but not horribly matted. Um, I don't think anybody found hundreds of ticks <laughs> on their dogs like that one time. Mm-hmm. Um, and they were all pretty nice. There was a couple that were a little fussy, but not like the year we did it where like pretty much <laughs> or half the dogs biting. were biting yeah. everyone. Yeah. But brutal. I always love doing rescue. It's really hard to get into, but if you get into it, it's it's awesome. I just like making the dogs feel better too. Yeah. Well, we know I like to rescue things. Do you like that you have to, you only have two hours, right? Two and a half. Two and a half because of, I was like, do you like having to prep during the... It It's fine. You know, they try to do it. So this way, I kind of like the way they did it this year because they put a number on the dog and then that's the way you pick it out like lottery style. You pick it out of like a cup and that's oh, your dog, right? Okay. Your number and then they put him on the kennels. But they had put numbers on the kennels that corresponded which the judges thought the difficulty of mm. bathing them would be nice. oh, so like okay. the bigger noodles were like one two and three right mm. got it That's and mine idea. had yeah. like the, didn't have a ton of hair on him and he was kind of scruffy you're last <laughs> and i got last i was mm. literally the last one in the tub but it was it was fine you know because he had an easy drying coat and i think they kind of wanted him to be stripped because it you know i got yeah, that yeah. feeling because he yeah. um mm. had triple hair Mm-hmm. Um, but he That's was a, a big good ask boy. from a rescue though to like, hey, your hand strip this puppy. You know? yeah. yeah, he was a good boy. Yeah. 
Uh, but they the rescue didn't decide. I think the judges decided on what order they went in for tub wise. Ah, okay. Um, but yeah, it ended up being fine. But they flooded the tubs a couple of times, and it just got nice. a little backed up nice. back there. Oops. Oops. Well, where you were doing all that, the Austins. I sat in on their very first class at a Barclays show. I wish show. I could have, yeah. but. Hey. Yeah, it was awesome. It was well, you know, um, so. <laughs> I was I so freaked out. I was first. definitely really nervous. I don't know if anybody like noticed mm. or because then I was also thinking about the best in show lineup because mm. our class was from 11 to 12 and they were like, be here between 12 and 12, 15 for the best in show lineup. And so I was like freaking out inside of my head because uh, we wanted to spend time with everybody like after the class, like taking photos and answering questions and um, it was a good class. Though. No, it was a great class. And we brought our lights because it's like so dark in there. So um, we were able to kind of. And you had a dark dog. Yeah. And we had a black dog. So we like set up our lights and um, I thought it was nice. We had a good turnout. Um, mm -hmm. And Juan and Ronnie said we did a good job. Yeah. And I feel like they're harsh critics. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so when they were like, I was like, are you serious? And they're like, yeah, you did a good job. So I was like, OK, good. Yeah, it was, I feel I like mean, they're not as scared. To it be was like, our first. You <laughs> it was our first one, so like I feel like you know we can like improve, but I felt like I think you definitely loosened up after like five ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you guys really like got into the groove, and it was really entertaining. And you guys were like giving little one liners, and it was it was funny. And you guys like I barely not bickered, remember. but like you guys were like Wah. it was just, it was just <laughs> the interaction was nice. Yeah. I liked okay, it. Good. It's yeah. funny because I, I like I literally don't. If it's like a black hole in my head <laughs> like i was so nervous um that i don't even really rem i don't because i didn't think i was funny at all oh yeah so no, i'm glad to know that we were like at least somewhat entertaining because i was like yeah. they're probably gonna be like they're robots you know like, <laughs> but it's a trim we know you know and people were really we know, receptive yeah. because it's not necessarily like a i think the point we were trying to drive home is that it's not this point to this point but you're grooming it on you're putting a certain right. trim on this dog and I think most people were able to understand. I that. was surprised by how quickly the hour went by. I was yeah. like, oh, I was like worried we were going to get through it really fast. Um, and we then we could eat up two hours. Easy. Suddenly we were like, oh, shit. Like we didn't even finish the other half of the dog. We only did the one. <laughs> Sorry, Danica. We gave her back her <laughs> dog halfway groomed. She's like, I want my dog. So we're like, well, it's not finished. We were going to bring it here and finish it. And she's like, oh, just bring it. And I'm so we handed it to her half done. <laughs> We're like, She's like, no big deal. <laughs> she 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 like uh, she used clippers it, yeah. on it, just a pet, anyways, you know. Yeah. So that was it. Was nice, and then we ran to Best in Show, and that was uh, that literally. Was, yeah, <laughs> it was nice, you know, because Jeanette got to Jeanette and Dakota both got to get up there for Best That's First right. Timer. They didn't get it. Um, another very beautiful dog uh, poodle, poodle entry mm -hmm. ended up getting it. Yep. Um, so that was, no, I think it was, I think it was Poodle. Oh, I thought the freestyle dog. Could, I wasn't paying attention. I could be wrong. I, no, I think regardless. it was a Poodle. It was a Poodle. It was amazing being on the stage like that though. That's well, and so then this one has, this particular show has a scissor callback. So you got a scissor That's callback right. with your Poodle yeah. and the, uh, Bashan, another Utsumi member got a scissor callback with his Bashan and Kat Opson with her um, Poodlington. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, you did not win that one. No. Um, but the Bashan looked great. It, yeah. The Bashan ended up getting it. He did look fantastic. Very well yeah. scissored. Well, he um, scissors that whole dog just with shears. He well, doesn't not, put clippers on that dog. At not all. just that, but he had a big transformation. Huge His transformation. dog had so much hair. So that was very cool. Um, and then uh, finally, it was best in show. Yeah. Um, so that was a big one. And I, w you know, again, it was like similar where I was like, I don't want to get too hyped up because like everybody up there obviously deserves to be up there. Mm -hmm. And all of them are multiple best in show winners yeah. already. I mean, so yeah. you have Mackenzie. I mean, she's brought home the gold from Worlds. I mean, the American Cocker is her groom. Jovi had her adorable little, little Bashan. Um, so cute. And Layla, I know, she, you know, she's incredibly talented. She's won Best in Shows before. And um, who else was up there? Cat yeah. with her freestyle. She's won Best in Shows. That dog, yep. And um, who was the last? Oh, Liz. Liz has won multiple best in oh. shows as well, and she was up there with her Scotty. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so I was like, well, I don't know. You know, like yeah. I didn't want to get my hopes up because I was like, no fucking way. You know, like. Well, I was like nervous, be. and Bl Blake was there, and I'm like, Blake, what do you think? And he <laughs> goes, I think it's the Scotty. 
<laughs> and I, mean, I was like crushed, you know, because like thanks, Blake. Because I'm just kidding. He has a good eye, yeah. you yeah. know. So yeah. I'm like, oh shit. Well, and so for so then I, and that when that happened, I put it in my mind that I wasn't winning. Yeah. I was like, okay, just just calm down. Well, still be ha- I'm still happy. I'm up here. Well, this yeah, twice in a row. Then yeah. I was in the best in show lineup. Well, and it's so just I'm an like, honor. I'm just happy to be up here. It's just an honor to be amongst those groomers who yeah. are so good. And um, it was Jay and Sue for Best in Show and Judy Hudson, who you'd never competed under before. Thank I you, really liked her. Um, although it's funny because um, we're like, she doesn't give anything away. No. Like yeah. when she's checking over dogs, she gives nothing away. Nothing. But she was all smiles for Best in Show. She was so sweet. Yeah. Um, and uh, so that was that was pretty yeah. choice. So I, I won it and then I'm crying again. I'm like, <laughs> God, dude, I'm just crying so much this I think end. people like that. Yeah, though. I feel like you're <laughs> honest. Get, they're happier for you because yeah. it shows how much you care. Yeah. yeah Instead yeah. of just a another and then, one. You know, like and then I was just on a high for like a week straight after. <laughs> you're that. still on a high. Yeah. <laughs> well, and the thing that is that we didn't know was that that um that specific show is a cover for Groomer to Groomer. Yay. Mm. Yeah, so I get a cover, cover of Groomer to Groomer. I'm and so glad Ren took this amazing picture. I can't wait for people to see it because it is yeah. It's freaking Yeah, rad. I haven't even seen it because I had to go I haven't clean seen it either. Room. I just know the location <laughs> and it's not something I would have thought of at all, but the color like he's he's like the colors here are perfect and it's it's going to be I mean mm-hmm. it's going to be so badass. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I can't wait to see it. Mm-hmm. So it's very I'm exciting. Well, and then this year we stayed. Normally as soon as mm. it like say if Nathan Hatton placed or and we would have left right after rescue or uh you know whatever. So we stayed this time. Um, Nathan helped Alyssa with her creative. I got to watch it on the road. Yeah. 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 Yeah, So he dressed up like a night. I was more nervous for that than anything. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. So you did a little skit for Alyssa's creative and she did end up winning people's choice award. That one. Yeah. And she won first place. So she did so good. Yeah. Yeah. We gotta figure out how to make that thing stop. <laughs> um, so that was, you know, so that was really cool. But it was just nice because, like I said, we don't normally stick around. Um, but Nathan, you know, wandered around and left his trophy at his various, you know, like at Utsumi and Andis, and um, got to like go around and talk to people. And well, for this uh, the skit for Alyssa's skit, I liked that you got to use your trophy. It was part of yeah. it. it was yeah. Perfect. Well, because it was yeah. Monty Python and the Holy Grail, right? So yeah. like. It was the Holy Grail. Yeah. You found it. I was kind of bummed out that Cuddles didn't have a booth because, you know, they're the ones who are, like, sponsoring me to be there. So Right, yeah. So. Did you rep in Cuddles. Cuddles weekend? Yeah. 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 So it was, I mean, overall, it was just, like, a, what a fantastic weekend. Well, you were saying, like, some, some people were behind you saying, like, oh, he's wearing a, it says <laughs> Cuddles was on his stuff. Was oh. he, like. Is he cuddly? Is That's he cuddly? what she was asking her friend. <laughs> so, somebody was sitting behind me, and they were, like, so good so, and i turned around i was like nathan ain't shit <laughs> <laughs> and then they kind of looked at me and i was like i'm just kidding he's my friend <laughs> <laughs> but that like the horror they felt yeah. <laughs> it was oh funny. yeah that's so funny it, yeah. is, it is funny when you're like sitting you're watching because we always sit like where we can see you in particular and so people will come specifically to watch you groom and then I you can hear them all talking and <laughs> they don't realize who you are it's really funny i can't wait to see it. uh i'm excited for this show in california this one coming up oh in mm. lodi it's mm-hmm. so close mm-hmm. i'm excited because i get to compete it, as long as i don't win in tacoma i i'm gonna sign up for that one <gasps> yes. we're gonna be you're gonna, supporting get, you're gonna get best in show yeah. hopefully Maybe. No, I don't know. It's been so long. I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> then you'd be an intermediate. Then be intermediate. <laughs> me. I haven't been because I haven't been actively competing. I haven't like actively been timing myself. I haven't been like you worried have too much of about. Time. I know. I know. I need to get better. Well, it's only like two haircuts away. Shh. You know, I'll do it. Stop. I'll do it. I'm gonna do it. I Shh. I, I practice think my hair. two haircuts. It's June. Well, oh, oh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do actually do it tomorrow, or no Monday. You can get several and then haircuts. three haircuts. I think you. I'll figure it out. I think if you were doing as many competitions as me, you'd be right here with me. You know? Yeah. You're amazing. I think you're very, very talented. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And I'd still be <laughs> an intermediate. Thank you for saying that. Who, me? Yeah. Oh, you're yeah. welcome. I think you're very super talented. Thank you so much. Very. Thank you. Yes. Um, anyway, so yes, the the California groom. What were we talking about before? Oh, we were just finishing it. We were finishing uh, it. I, okay. I will say my ultimate favorite 
thing. I mean, obviously watching you win Best in Show was great. But like uh, hearing so many people talk about the podcast and <gasps> yes. like coming up to us and telling us that it's us? funny. Mm-hmm. Like like Jonathan David came up to me and he came up to you and yeah. was telling us that he really enjoyed the podcast. I thought that was really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, so cool. Yeah. And then people like coming up. I know you get it all the time, but people coming up and be like, are you on the podcast? You know, it was it was really fun and it was really cool. Yeah. No, and, I do agree that it's yeah. it feels really nice. It feels nice. Yeah. To be recognized. I've only had like two or three people, but I'm like, oh, you know who I am? Mm. Well, and then I don't think Jill, um, like she made a really nice post about it on, yeah. on so Facebook. Nice. And then Loves everybody Jill. was like loving it and tell, telling, uh, talking about how much they like the podcast. And that made me feel really good. Yeah. Oh, well, it's just been nice to get um, well, you, feedback you, from a lot of our like peers that we mm-hmm. really love and look up to. Awesome. Um, also, like people don't know, right? But Juan puts in the most work for this podcast. For sure. <laughs> I mean, we're here like 100%. being funny and stuff, but Juan's like putting in triple the amount of work that the rest he of us edits, do. He, does all he our, edits all the, the editing. The, yeah. um, and I don't know the if whole you guys like, I mean, I, I'm sure a lot of listeners will edit videos on their phone for, you know, social media and stuff. But like, so imagine doing that, but for over an hour. Every week, like it's a tremendous amount of work. So thank yeah. you with four thank different people. Yeah, too. yeah. So it's yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think that's why it felt so nice to hear people say that they really like it because I was like, okay, okay, yeah. okay, good. Yeah, I'm doing like, good. I'm job. doing it. Yeah. Well, and it was nice to hear like Jess and Gabriel be like, "This is such a professional like setup you guys have," mm-hmm. because like I do feel like that's something the two of you did was like really research and look into like making sure that we look and sound very professional. Um, and so it was really nice to hear yeah. that everything looked and sounded like yeah, we were guys, pros. We're really pulling the wool we're over really their heads. We're really doing it. <laughs> right? you, we got them all fooled. We got them fooled. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you guys do the most of the work. It, they you just, just bought a bunch up. of stuff, and then we just bought really nice stuff, and everyone thinks like, "Wow, you guys got you guys yeah. are professional." <laughs> like, yeah, whatever. Mm. Well, Nathan, like he, <laughs> usually Nathan puts together like the Facebook, Instagram, TikTok reels. And uh, I can't do that. I'm I do not. nothing. <laughs> the reels are. She easy, shows up though. and looks pretty. Not the reels that. are. <laughs> I show up. <laughs> oh my god! You wrote down the questions. That yeah, people... I write Nathan's card for him. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that should be your 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 duty. My writing duty. all the yeah. all the cue cards for the. I'll that's take recording. Do your duty. <laughs> my duty. My duty. Make the boopity beppies. The boopity beppies. I can write these out. I I do the posting. I. I write type out the the whatever I do write the down, captions. I do write down your questions when they come in. I, I do, keep track yeah. of those. I do the captions so you and do posting. Stuff. You do stuff. Just yeah, just laying. A little best. Mostly I just come for the boobs. <laughs> I just bring the boobs. <laughs> boobs. So do you too. think I, yeah. I I do I'm wondering something, right? If you if say if for some I'm not saying we are, but if we were to win a Barkley nomination, <laughs> right? <laughs> Do they give a medal to everybody, or is it just one? I think it's just one. I know. I think mm. it's everybody. They'll just and, rotate okay, them. So anybody who is in a multi-group that's won a Barkley Honors. Because I think, like, um, Jill and Lindsay, they won for um, for their... Facebook uh, group. For the Facebook yeah. Programmer group. Network. Programmer yeah. Network. I swear they both got one. But so I th- maybe we should ask them. I think I heard them say that they've won it so much that they each now have a medal. <laughs> I think. But I remember when they took the photos, I thought they each had one. I don't know. Well, can we pay to have more? If we uh, I don't know. We could just we're gonna have to look at it. At least two. Yeah, at least two. Salon. For each salon. This, yeah, ours. We're all. Together. I mean, I don't think we're gonna win, but wink, wink. <laughs> no, we don't want to be. We don't want to like. I don't think we're just like oh shoe win, but we really want to win. So please vote for us. We're trying. We're putting in a lot of hours here. A lot of hours. Although I want to interview. I actually want to interview uh, Todd Shelley. <laughs> I think. That would be nice. I think he's so influential in the grooming industry with all the all these shows that they put on. Like I'm really yeah. interested in just the things he knows. Well, or they would do. Say. They put on the most amount of shows. So yeah, yeah. it yeah. would be very interesting. They, they do it well. Yeah. So. And we should interview him right before the Barkley Honors. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Don't tell that to all the other <laughs> podcasters. <laughs> then they're going to do it too. <laughs> yeah. I I am I am curious though if somebody c- comes out with something like you should interview this person and it's just like a great idea, right? Cuz we have like this list of people that we're going to mm-hmm. that we want to interview, but Yeah. Like we're, maybe we're not thinking outside the box yeah. enough, you know? Mm, Send point. in suggestions. Mm-hmm. Yep. Who would you like to see? Yeah. 
Well, so we'll that was like it, that. right? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Wrap us up. Yay, Pasadena. Woo! Yay, Pasadena. So fun. Next up, uh, next competition is Tacoma. So come see it. Find us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We'll be there. We'll be there. Well, thank you for tuning in to another grooming podcast. Please rate, like, share everything on everything. We're everywhere. We're on Spotify, Apple, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, YouTube. Yeah, well, you can see our pretty faces if you go to YouTube. Yeah, and you can see our pregnant dog. And our pregnant dog. Yeah, beep, beep. Beep, beep. <laughs> and watch us, and watch watch us, us fan, fan away her away. farts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, you can also email us at anothergroomingpodcast at gmail.com if you have any questions. We would love to hear your questions. Mm-hmm. You can also um, DM us yep. on any of our platforms because yep. we'd like to know what you have to say. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I ended up being way longer than it though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you did say we can go through two hours. It's literally two hours. Really? An hour and 59 minutes. Damn. Damn. To be fair, we didn't even start talking though. For That's like 10 true. Minutes. Yeah.